No smoke without fire, they say. I thought as much. Because you sounded so urgent. You sounded so on phone. No. Your Majesty. My wife, the Queen, is the problem. Queen? Our Queen? Yes. Mm. When was the last time you spoke with uh, our daughter, Adak? Mm. That was um. That was two days ago. Mm. Yeah, two days ago. I hope there's no problem. Uh, no problem, really. Okay. Yes, she called uh, minutes ago. And she sounded urgent and pained. She needs money. So tomorrow I will give you money to send to her. You can as well send it to my account now. Let me do a transfer to her. It's the same thing. Tomorrow I give you the money. Then you send it to her. The important thing is that she gets the money. That will be all. Mm. Your Majesty. Um, yeah. That reminds me, Your Majesty. Yes. Uh, I hope you sent my brother the money I asked you to send to him. <clears throat> Let me ask you one question. Go ahead, I'm listening. Do you recall the number of times I give your brother money for his business. Your Majesty, eh? the way you're just mentioning this money, money, like you gave him heaven and earth, I mean, does it matter? It doesn't really matter. Mm hmm I know what you're trying to say is one thing or the other, but please. He invested when you gave him those monies. And what he planned didn't work. I mean, at times, we'll invest money in different businesses thinking it will work the way we planned, but in the end, it will not work doesn't mean we did not invest wisely. That's exactly what happened to my brother. He invested, thinking it would yield fruit, but it didn't work. So, <laughs> reduce the level of the money you mentioned. That did not look like you've given him heaven and earth. You know, sometimes... <laughs> I, I just would not help to keep myself in check, listening to, to the vomit coming from your mouth. I want you to take your mind back. Back to the first time you brought your brother to me. Request him for money for his business. How much did I give him? Five million naira. Five million naira 
which he squandered. He squandered it. It's not a question of investing wisely or not wisely. He simply squandered it. You people came back a second time. How much did I give him? Three million naira. I was really pained. Pained before I gave out that money. Because I asked and discovered that he just went junketing. He went on a spending spree with my money. He didn't put it in the business. We know where he's, he put it. His hair. Yes. Trying to look good for his women. And that was not all. The third, third time you came back with him, you came crawling on all fours, kneeling, begging, genuflecting. How much did I give him again? Another three million. What kind of a human being is he? And what kind of a man actually brings out all that money every time? You forget that I, we have our primary responsibilities. We have these kids. We have these children we pay their school fees for. We pay for their upkeep. I take care of the family. I don't have money again for such extravagant people. And to think that he is a graduate. Ah! Are you done, your majesty? That will be all. Whoops! Your long salmon. Very long, just because I mentioned my brother. <laughs> wow. But I was waiting for you to share the grace. I almost fell on the anointing listening to your sermon just because I asked you to help my brother. Well, since you're done with your sermon and you forgot to share the grace, allow me to share the grace for you. But I will start with surely. God, goodness and mercies are following us all the days of our lives. As we dwell in the house of the Lord in front of you, you are drinking alcohol forever. Amen. Now take a look at what you're saying. Recalling how many times you gave my brother money. Five million. Three million. Three million. Why? Because I am asking you to support my brother, you have called him names. Wow. Have you forgotten your results that I saw? My matters F9. But now your brain is wide open because it's my brother. We are talking about my brother. We are talking about money, supporting him. You will now recall. If it were to be your relative, ah, hey, hey. Mention anything as Father Christmas you are. You will throw. You will throw. You will throw. You will not even remember how many times they've bet. But my brother. Mm -mm. Point of correction. Mm -hmm. There is no relative of mine that I have given money repeatedly. Mm -hmm. And there is no relative of mine that is that extravagant. No relative of mine that is that irresponsible. I hear you. In law to irresponsible man. Calm down. You see this matter? I will not rest till I see that my brother is financially stable and buoyant. That's when I will cheat. But for now, we're going to talk. Him. 
you must give him the money. Mom, what is wrong? Hmm? You've been so moody since I came back yesterday. What's the matter? What's going on? Oh, aren't you happy to see me? Why will you talk like that? Why will I not be happy seeing my angel? Your father is the problem here. What? What did Daddy do? Why don't you go and ask him? Aren't you his favorite again? Find out from him. Mom. Okay. Not a problem, Mom. I'm going to ask you. Okoro, bring out the car. Mm, I was going out, but uh, come on, let's sit down. Let's let's talk. Yes, my dear. Daddy, um, ever since I returned from school yesterday, mommy has been unusually moody. So I, I asked her what the problem is. And she opened up to me. She said she has been pleading with you to give my uncle some money to boost his business but that you refused I might not know the reason behind your refusal but I usually don't like to see mommy in this mood so I'm here to to plead to your conscience to try and do something about this please ah <sighs> Adako. <sighs> um. I am talking with you this way because I know that you are very, very understanding and reasonable. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, your mother. There are other things she didn't tell you. She didn't tell you I have been giving your your uncle Frank money. But let me put it this way. Since your uncle graduated, I have been giving him money through your mother. Cumulatively, I have given your uncle a whooping sum of 11 million naira. 
11 million naira, which is squandered. I don't know where that money, all that money, I don't know where the, it is today, what he has done with it. The only thing I see in him is his hair. I think the 11 million naira was spent on his hair. He cares so much about his look before the women. So he frittered the money away on women, on partying, on frivolous things. Daddy. Is mom aware? Because yes. 11 million is a whole lot of money. Yes. It's a whole lot of money. If I take out 11 million naira from my business, what is left of it? 11 million naira. Yes, and your mother is aware. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really, I'm really surprised to hear this. I, I genuinely didn't know that you have invested this much. Um, but daddy, can I suggest something? I'm all ears. Dad, I mean, given the circumstance, you know, I will just want to appeal to you to look within your heart and try to raise him something very i mean it doesn't matter how much no matter how little just something to support him this last time at least so everyone can be happy please everyone cannot be happy not with frank frank is like a big hole, a chasm. No matter the quantity of sand you put in there, you, anytime you look, you won't find any sand. It's like a sea, a sea into which you're pouring bags of salt. Each time the poor you taste, the sea will never taste of salt. Anyway, I've heard what you said, my dear. I've heard you. I will think about it. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you. Um, since you're going out, I'll just, you know, let you go so I don't eat so much of your time. So I'm free to go out now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> daddy, you're free to go. Thank you, Daddy. Yeah, well, you're so welcome. Have a nice day. Yes, yes. Oh. Yes. Maybe a peg. Mm -hmm. Daddy, I love you. Oh, all right. Um, where is he? Yeah, the car is here. All right, my dear. Ah, yeah, what is Who is this? Anthony. Uncle. All right. What for is it? Yes, you we were speaking on phone and I didn't quite get you. That's why I asked that you come in physically. Yes, let me hear you clearly. Uh, Your Majesty, it's about my traveling abroad. 
I have done everything. So I am here to inform you that what is remaining now is my flight ticket and the money I'll have in hand. Congratulations. Thank you, Uncle. Which country are we talking about? Uh, USA, Your Majesty. See. USA. And how much? Four million naira, sir. Four million naira. Tony. Send your account details today and I'll credit your account with four million naira. Thank you, Your Majesty. Uncle, thank you. Don't don't Let just get excited like that, Tony. I mean, uh, maybe he's not telling you the truth. There is no money, Tony. You know how this country is now, everywhere is so tight. So my advice is, leave this your trip to abroad. Postpone it till next year and then that time I'm sure Iwe will be able to sponsor you. But for now, <laughs> I'm not sure he'll be able to do that. My queen, you do me, you do this now. Tony, Tony, you heard what I said. Yes, of course. Send your account details. Okay. I'll credit your account. Thank you. Okay, oh, thank you. Thank you. Your Majesty, thank you once again. In, in fact, let me send it now, sir. Hello, Frank. Frank, where are you? I'm asking you, where are you at the moment? All right, now listen to me. I want you to drop whatever thing you're doing. I would like to see you here. What? You won't be able to make it? My friend, I'm telling you to come to the palace right now. Listen, it's about the money you said I should help you beg my husband to give you, right? Now listen, he's in the spirit of sharing money. So I would like you to come today. If possible, right now. Okay, fine. You will come in the evening. Make sure you don't miss it. Now that he's sharing money, so you can get your own share. I've told you now. It's all right. Okay, okay, my own people. And what is that supposed to mean? I have, I have been idle these days because I'm looking for more money to support my business. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, need, I need more money. I need money back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've been idle. Mm -hmm. I see. Tell me, how do you actually do your business? I mean, uh, do you have a policy of keeping some of your money? Uh, aside that is keeping some money aside do you have that kind of policy I don't, I don't, I don't know that policy I put all the money inside the business uh, that's what I do and now you you don't really have money 
Yeah, so that's actually what it is. <sighs> Save yourself all that explanation, Frank. <sighs> you know what I've been looking at you? I've been looking at you to see assess the level of seriousness in you as a human being created by God. Level of seriousness, business acumen in somebody that really wants to do business. Because you're a, a business graduate, right? Yes. Good. I didn't believe that a human being created with a good head would ever let himself slide to this pitiable condition. You don't have money. You're looking for money. You're idle. And you're saying it. And you're looking for more money. Look at yourself. Look at you. You still you still go about with with is, is that is that earring there on your ear? Is that what you still go about with? Look, look at look at you. Look at your hair, Frank. And see the cap, the way you're putting on your cap. And your hair. Is that how the hair of a serious businessman should look like? Oh, I see. Okay, that's how international businessmen look like. That's what they look like. And they, they, all of a sudden, they want more money. And they must go get that more money from the same source that had given them pumped money into their business. Frank, whatever that happened to the 11 million Naira I gave you, 11 million Naira, disappeared into thin air and you have the gods to stand before me Talk about more money. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not ashamed of yourself? I gave you 11 million naira. Frank, 11 million naira. And you don't have, you don't have it. And you're here seeking for more money. Oh, oh my God! The more I, the more I speak, the angrier I get. And you still want more money from me? More money, Frank? More money for what? You should be ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of yourself. What did I say? You should be ashamed of yourself. You know what you're going to do. Go back home, prepare a detailed account of how you spent that 11 million naira. At least that 11 million. I'm done with this going in. So you're not going to give my brother money? Is that what you're saying? Your Majesty, is that what you're saying? After abusing him, telling him earrings, hair, and everything, you're not going to give him money. You didn't see his shaboyka as well for you to talk about it. Put your earrings back, suits you. Don't worry. Don't worry. You see that money? He will give you that money. <laughs> I will torment him! Just that you sure about this? I, I need what do you this mean? money. I know. I know. 
you if you finally get this one, at least now. Hmm? At least. Maybe I'm trying my best. I know you're trying. Try it's best. not easy. Business is difficult. I know. Your Majesty, why are you like this? Why are you so mean to my brother? I'm asking you, why are you so heartless? What is so difficult in you giving my brother that money? How much is he even asking you to give him? Ordinary, eight million naira. Hey! But your brother's son just came here. Immediately he opened his mouth. You did not even allow him to land. You asked him, send your account number. Send your account number. Immediately you wired the money to his account right before me. And you're treating your in-law like that. That's wickedness. You see that, Tony? You see that, Tony? Tony is a responsible boy. Mm. Tony is a good boy. Tony is respectable. Mm -hmm. Yes. Listen, you see that four million naira I gave Tony? Watch it in the next one year. You'll see what he's going to do with it. Unlike your brother, your useless brother, your extravagant brother. How much has he taken? How much have I given him within months? A matter of months, all of it gone. Gone! Why would they not go? The question is, why would they not go? Had it been you gave him enough money, would the money go? No! The money vanished. That's because you didn't give him anything. Then, you gave him little money. Then give him the money. Are you mocking me After or what? After all, he is your brother. That's what I'm saying. Are you mocking me or what? If I had that money, I would have given to my brother to save him from this insult. Oh. Oh. You don't have 8 million naira for your brother? And you're making all this noise. No wonder. Birds of the same feathers. Mm. Listen, please. Let me be. I need to rest mm. now. Mm. Please. You want to rest? I will not allow you to rest. King of universe. You that owns the whole world I do not have. What do I do? Am I not your wife? Who is supposed to give me money? Is it not you? I do not have it. You that have the money, give to your in-law. It's a shame on your side. Aja Campo. My daughter. I have heard you. I have heard you loud and clear. I have not said I'm not going to give him that eight million naira. After all, I've given him more, more than that repeatedly. The point I'm making is let him show me an account. Something that is written about what he did with the money I gave him before. You understand? It's not just bring money, give, bring money, give down the, you know, money just disappears like that. If I see it, then I will now be impelled to bring out more money and give him. That's just the point. Anything outside that, I'm not bringing out my kobo, okay? Daddy, I understand. I understand all you've said. But all I'm asking is for you to 
talk to mom. Talk to her in a way she will understand. Daddy, she's your wife. I know you have a way through to her heart. I know you, you, you know the right time and the right things to say to her. That's all I'm asking. Talk it over. Mm. You don't know your mother. You don't know your mother. Onye bunu mako siya However, my dear, I've heard you. It's all right. It's all right. Okay? Just relax. Relax your mind about this. Huh? Now tell me, when are you going back to school? Because I know you've, uh, you must be coming close to the end of your holidays. Well, I intend to go back. Wednesday? So soon. Mm -hmm. So soon. Not so soon that you have been here a while. I ain't too tired of seeing my face. So soon. <laughs> I can never be tired of seeing my lovely darling daughter. All right, so make a list of your needs in school. Mm -hmm. And I'll give you the money. Yes! <laughs> I trust you. Daddy, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, darling, don't. I know. <laughs> okay, so Daddy, let me just go in and take my shower. Yes. While I wait for you to come inside. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> ah. I don't know that's what I've been passing through. In the hands of my wife and her brother. Hakurum Noko. Hakurum Noko. Dangling in between two deep seas. Try. Tell me. Tell me. What have I done to my wife? That she will not allow me to drink water and keep down the cup in my house. Get it from No. Just. I have given a so called brother a whooping total of 11 million naira. Guinea, yeah? which he is, is, is squandered, he frittered away on inconsequentials like women drink, partying, and what have you. Eleven million naira. Hi. Mm. And today, my wife is holding me hostage. Holding me hostage and forcing me to bring out more money and give to the young man. It wasn't a very good name. Even if I have the money, I am not giving. I am not giving. <laughs> Today, I prepared, wore my garment, my vestment as Igwe, about to step out of my house. My wife locked the door, locking me in, preventing me, the Igwe, from stepping out going out of the house. What? No. Your Majesty, this is the height of it. Go, 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 go. Wait, 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 wait. Your wife locked you inside this place, thereby depriving you from going out. 
Man, I'm, 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 I can't know me. <laughs> That oh, was oh. why I started calling you to come and rescue me. Ah, uh, uh, your majesty, you look at me as if the Pope must hear this. Mm. She heard your voice. When she heard your voice, she now released the king. He says, slap on the entire kingdom. We will not take it. Your majesty, I think, I think there's no need of uh, watching you die in silence. I am still the Prime Minister of this kingdom. I will make sure I inform those that are supposed to know. First of all, I will inform the third entire cabinet members and all your subjects. I mean the community at large. I will make sure that everybody hear it. This single action is a slap on the face of an entire kingdom. She must therefore pay. Yes, she will pay. I will make sure she pay for what she has done. I know. I know. I don't like you. Mm. I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like you. Why you? 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 It has always been your principle. Oh, yeah, Oh, yeah, Oh, yeah, Because nobody will remove your, your dress to see that you're wearing a dirty under things. My singlet is in here, my pant is in Why, oh, why, oh? That has always been your word, your way. And I like that great wisdom. That's why I come nearer you all the time to hear from you. But in this case now, I'm not comfortable with these actions. However, Your Majesty, if you say so, From all you said, Your Majesty, I understand that, that your brother-in-law is a graduate and that he read business administration. Yes, that's why I, <laughs> I was surprised that he couldn't manage even simple one-man business. Hmm, that one. Some people are like that, Your Majesty. And they may not be able to do well in their private business, but when they work for others, they put in the best. Um, I have a suggestion to make, if only you will allow me. Amanya, oh, that's why I called you. Let me hear you. Thank you. Employ that your brother-in-law in your company and place him on monthly salary. I mean, pay him every month. By then, you can now want uh, him closely. I believe that will even give you the opportunity to know him too well and monitor him properly so that you can cope this, all these uh, extravagant lives is living. No. This is. Kaga, this is a madi well off. Baba Tanuma. Eh? Eh? He will okay. Okay, no easy. Take the rat and bring the rat inside the house where you have bags and bags of beans and rice and all that. Fish. Eh? <sighs> Will my money be safe? Your Majesty, uh, yes, there's a slight difference here. Very slight difference. Our people say, Nankita Adia Atom, where you know? He's not the only one working in your company, therefore, he cannot mess up with their money and go without being noticed. It's not possible that it will be useless your money this time around. 
you, are, you will be in firm control of both the money, the investment, and himself. Thank you, Your Majesty. Okay. Kainen. 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 Are you going to give him money? Tell him what I just said now. No problem, no majesty, no problem. No problem, I'm going to call him right away. Hello, Frank. Can you hear me? Yes, listen. I don't know what you're doing at the moment, but whatever it is, forget about it. My husband said I should tell you to commit him in the office. Of course, he just left now. Just go, 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 go. I don't know, but you have to go. Frank, listen. Make sure you are there at least in the next two hours. <sighs> All right. Okay then. <laughs> really taking our time to study you, look at you, feel you, and see what you're doing. Buying and selling is not your thing, I can assure you. Not even general business. Not minding that you studied business management in the university. If I give you another money now for that your business, that money, we go down, it will vanish. So here is what I have decided to do for you. Because you're my own person, my brother-in-law. I'm going to employ you in my company. I can even make you the general manager of this company and pay you well. You'll be getting, at least you'll be assured of regular monthly pay and that you can save. Yeah. Uncle, um, I've heard what you said, but what you just said right now is not what I plan for my life. I have big plans for myself. It's all right, I'll, I'll um, sleep over this and get back to you. Look at you. Look at this one. Frank, do you think I am begging you? Go out there, you have hundreds of them. Hundreds of folks like you. Just claim for employment like this one, and they're not getting it. 
But here you are getting it on a platter of gold. You're, you're exercising some lucky, lackadaisical attitude over it. See, I'll give you two days. At the expiration of two days, you do not return here to pick up that appointment, then forget it. You may leave my office now. Uncle, like I said, I, I, when I get home, I'll, I'll think, think about this too. Is this not what I plan? <laughs> A boy is this? What kind of person is he? Is he concrete in his head? Was he real brain? Does he even think? Anyway. Are you for real? So that was the reason he called you to come and see him in the office. Just for you to become the company's ordinary manager. Can, can you imagine that? Oh, imagine that. Me, Frank, graduate of business at me. To become um, an ordinary staff in my own in-laws company. I'm telling you! That's an insult. That's an insult. What about my steeds? Now what? What are you going to do? I was really mad about this. That's why I had to come to tell you about it. I was, I was, I was angry, freaking angry. Frank, you will take it off. What? You will accept it. Listen, accept the offer, no problem, start. I... Then, when it didn't go the way we expected, then we'll now have a plan B, we'll have a rethink. Sister, are you asking me to take up the job? Mom, take it off. That's what I'm saying. Just relax. Let's watch. Let's just watch things. Play fool. Take the job. You know I'm your elder sister. I can't deceive you. I'm going to take this job because of you. I understand. Then, uh, is, well, I know you must be hungry. Come, let's go. Let's go, Nina. Very hungry. Are you serious? Yeah. My own brother. Ordinary manager. Imagine that. Uh -huh. I don't blame him. How did it go with my brother? He is your brother. He should have called you and told you what transpired in the office. Anyway, let me sound this note of warning, which I'm sure you will convey to him. I do not want him anywhere near this palace until he has done what I asked him to do. I don't understand. I mean, how can you ask my brother to come see you in the office only for you to return and you're wanting me that I should go and want my brother not to... I don't get it. So what was the meeting all about? I'm asking now. At this meeting, I want you to stand for the truth. Say the truth. Look Udemba in the face and tell him that he does not own the land. The land belongs to Izuako family. Yes. Uh, well, the point is if uh, 
if you think he's not going to do what you want him to do, well, leave him. When I return from Abuja, I will deal with the situation. Yes. Okay. Okay. So when I return. Okay. Yes. Ah. Dude, honestly, I'm not even comfortable you going by the road. True. No, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going by road. I'm. I'm. I have two tickets booked at the airport, so I'm flying. We are flying. Yes. We, flying. Yes. We, you and who? I'm flying with the driver. Ah, no, that's too much now. Go by air. Yes. Why the driver drops you at the airport? Then he can now go by road. <laughs> no. There are places he will take me to in Abuja. So I will pay for, I have already paid for two tickets anyway. So we both travel to Abuja. Yes. <clears throat> wow. All right. I better go before I. You miss your miss flight, my exactly. Flight. Good. It's all right. I'm not against anything, just I'm considering you, you know. <laughs> Small boy used to know. Mm -hmm. That boy used to beat back in the day. <laughs> You're a very old man now. Yeah? <laughs> Stop stressing yourself about nothing. No, look, he's talking. Mm. See my old papa grey hair. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My friend, you need a good wife in your house. Somebody that will be preparing your meals. That's what you need. Let me shock you, sister. Please go on. I have someone already. And why Sister. haven't you told me? Hold on. She makes the best of meals. If you taste her food, Aww. trust me, you forget yourself. I'm telling you, look at me. Do I look like someone who's not feeding well? Hmm? You look good, actually. Mm -hmm. I hope the person is not doing kaname, trying to tie my brother down. All those, <laughs> all those girls that, you know, Words, Millie skirt up and down, show tummy, show back, show boobs, cleavage and everything. I don't want them. Mm. Acho moha. Get yourself a decent wife. That's what I'm talking about. All right? Just ask me to go into the street and get you all those people that sell piota. <coughs> or the ones that sell um, abalomo. God. Or abacha. <laughs> yes, they're all covered. Veggie Mary outside and... Um, <laughs> Um, sister, whatsoever, inside. Please, I'm not doing that. Mm. This is a new generation. I know. We don't operate like that. Gen Z. Yeah, Gen, Gen Z, bad. Gen Z. Kanokwa. <laughs> Story. Mm. My friend, listen. I'm not joking. Get yourself a good wife. I'm here, your elder sister, to guide you. All you need is a, you know, a very decent girl from a good home that will sit in the kitchen, do pound the jam, Pound it herself. That's what I'm talking about. Very pretty girl, like your elder sister. You know. Do you know they now have machines that pound yam? I mean, right now. Now forget the machines. So you want me to get someone that will come and start pounding yam? Does it matter? And one day she'll pound me. No, no. no <laughs> I don't want that. All those girls that have yam on their legs, their hands, everywhere, they look like men. Do I? I have? don't want that. Please. Don't I used to pound yam? 
You're on a soft yam now. <laughs> not that kind of yam you used to pound. You're not a serious human being, Frank. I'm very serious. <laughs> I don't want that kind of person in my life. Buddha guy, look at how fresh you're looking, my guy. I'm going to be jealous of you. For what? I don't go see minister. I mean, I know you're the same level again. He's the show for your body. You'll be, you be common, ordinary palace guard. Uh, Fedra. Fedra palace guard. Uh. They insult me, Okoro. No, they insult you now. You're jealous. My guy. <laughs> Enough of this long talk. Now, let's talk about your wife to be. When are you bringing her over? Because I need to see this person. I wouldn't want you to make mistakes, please. It's all right if you insist. I'll bring you over by the weekend. That's it. So you get to meet her. Mm -hmm. Believe me, mm -hmm. let me rest finally. <laughs> <laughs> of course. That's what you should do. Mm -hmm. I'm That's going to what... do that. Mm. I will. I'll no bring problem. Her. No problem. No problem. So, by the way, mm. do you even like this ring? I love it. For real? Yeah, for It real. doesn't taste good to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, Your Majesty! Who do we have here? <laughs> You're welcome, Your Majesty. Oh, Malicham. Mm. Oh, Malicham. How was your trip? Mm. Mm. How was your trip? It was okay. Ah. So, how are you? Very well. Very well, as you can see. <laughs> Greetings, Your Majesty. Ah. Be in the room upstairs. What have I done to him? What in God's name did I do to him? Relax. You didn't do anything to him, okay? Drink up while I go see him, okay? I'll be right back. Don't just, don't feel bad. Your Majesty, why? What's the meaning of the coldness downstairs? What has my brother done to you? What has he done this time? Check your time. 2 p.m. So? 2 p.m. 2 p.m. He was supposed to be in the office. Oh. 2 p.m. and he was literally sleeping relaxed and exchanging stories with you in the parlor. 2 p.m. Your Majesty, are you forgetting that this boy is my brother? My only brother is just that boy and I. Why? I mean, oh God have mercy. You indeed hit this boy. I'm telling you. But that's not nice. 
may hate Frank? Of course! No way. No way. It's obvious. No way. Of course, Your Majesty, it's obvious. I hate Frank? Oh, come on. I hate Frank and made him the general manager of my company. I hate Frank and heaped on him that, that elevated responsibility. Let Frank work. Let him prove himself a man. Yes. Listen, Your Majesty. That boy is really working. Just that you don't want to see it. Boy, boy, boy. Did I hear you right calling Frank a boy? Of course. He's a boy. That's my younger brother. Frank a boy. Frank a boy. A boy. Well, let that boy work. This is wickedness. This is wickedness. Listen, if you haven't done anything, just believe me. Relax your mind. Okay? Why does my own in-law, my sister's husband, hates me so much? Why? Frank, listen. His majesty doesn't hate you for any reason. Listen. Do you know how he behaves? He wants everybody to be like him when it comes to business. I'm telling you. He was not expecting to see you here, rather, at the office. But I did nothing wrong coming to see my sister and the prince. I wonder. Knowing full well that he traveled. Of course. I did nothing wrong, sis. Nothing I'm wrong. I'm telling you. Um, I think it's just the, the Abuja trip. Let me just put it that way. You know, I think it's stress. So, let him relax. I believe he will come out of the mood. Meanwhile... I want you to start going, please. This cat and mice chase between the Igbo and I is just getting out of hand. I don't Honestly. like it. I Relax. don't. It's Relax. not nice at all. Relax, Frank. I assure you, uh, you and my husband will become best of friends. That will be in the next war, not in this war. No, don't talk oh. like that. Frank, Your Majesty. This is not the best of time for visiting. Um, you are supposed to be in the office now. Because this is office hours. So, I want you to get back to the office right away. Frank. Well, why don't you sit? Sit for what? Why would you walk my only brother out like that? His family! You take this one. Hi, Jaja. Okay, Abuja. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you take this one. FBJ! NJ, you are special now. So, yours has to be good for you. So, you finally went to the minister's office with Igwe. Look at this one. I did not just enter that office. Mm -hmm. I greeted the minister 
and he responded yes. accordingly. Good. Yeah. So you mean you entered the minister's office, you even shook hands with the man? Even so our almighty has said in Abuja. You don't understand. Let me show you. See this money? Mm. The minister gave it to me when we were leaving his office. Kai! Boka Abuja! Wait to wait to wait to open this It's okay, it's okay. See new money! Oh, we shall wear you. Look at her. Now you want to be a man. Can you be a man? You can never be like a man. You cannot even be a man. Even if they do surgery today, you can. If surgery will not accept you, if they give you 10 million naira now, you cannot be a man. So just take yourself out of it, Biko. Obi, what's the meaning of all this insult? Uh, what is it? It's okay. I wasn't even talking to you. Uh, it's okay, it's okay, your girls, it's okay. You should stop this for this thing because it's another big problem. Alufo, did I say anything wrong? He uh, did not, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's, it's okay. Rubbish. In fact, I don't have anything to do with you guys. You know, I'm giving you coke now, special tea. Why are you alone? Uh, you stop that now. What is your problem? Must you must you always show your jealousy at all times? I don't know. What is wrong with you? Me jealous. I'm not jealous, so, but I'm not happy with someone who is jealous of what she can never get. Oh, I understand. Mm -hmm. Your pain, eh? Because you know I like. Anyway, it's not your fault. It's my fault because I'm the one standing here and gossiping, or should I say, wasting time with you? How will you be talking with me, stop, stop, eh? Stop this. Stop Look at your child. Oh, they are just a quick ejaculation people. Though. They are just very easily. Two minutes are in your afima, but she should be careful, though. Go and tell her to be careful. You are going to. Eh? Now my son name be that. That's what I'm saying, ma. Sorry, ma. Just be ma. Oh. Oh. See, Angelica, I am not surprised at her reaction. Because eh? she knows that I like you and you like me too. Especially now that I've gone to Abuja and seen the minister. Look at me now. Eh? Look, look at me. Just look at me. What can the Kawoki say, Adi? From head to toe. See, I'm not your regular guard anymore. As in, I'm not your regular guard anymore. I've seen the minister now. We are not on the same level. See, Njide, it would be in your best interest. Your own best interest to it's not as if it's any other thing. To do away with all this pretense. Eh? The earlier, the better. The earlier you do away with this pretense, the better it would be for the both of us. The both of us? Yes. No. And who are the both of us here? Ah. Are you not the one I've been talking to since? You and I now. Hmm. Uh, see, Injideka. See. Please. Just do away with all these things like I said before. And let's move ahead. And I promise I will take good care of you. I will change your life for the better. I mean, I will take you from this level now, this normal, regular palace maid now. I will catapult you to a realm. You know what I mean by catapult? I will catapult you to a realm, eh? And you, when you look at the transformation, you will marvel. Eh? You know now. Eh? Please, don't, don't do it. Don't do me. Are you sure? Like, I don't want anybody that will break my heart. Break your heart? Never. If I break your heart, my bend. Mm. If I break your heart, my no waiting cause I'm. Why I go break your heart now? You, you know I love you. Don't you dull me. Don't dull me. Mm, I love you too. Yeah, really? I love you too. So, when are you taking me to Abuja to see the minister? Calm down. Do like this. Mm. Do like this. Calm down. Very soon. Very soon. First class. First class. No dulling. Wow. Well. Thank you. <laughs> hey, hey. Thank ah, you. Enter, 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 enter. Do you want me again? again, again. Hey. 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 wonder shall never end. Who wonder? So all this has been happening in this palace without my consent, eh? Hmm. You Okoro. You, just because you followed his royal majesty to Abuja, and he took you to minister's office. Oh, we dash, I get checking the money. He dash you checking the money for you to buy biscuits, granite. Give away with the land, you understand? You feel you can use it to buy love? Eh? And as for you, I don't know what, was, what will I was, what I'm going to say. I don't know. I'm not, I don't know what I will say to you. A man, a common palace driver. Is promising you heaven and earth. 
taking you to Abuja, America, this, that, and you are happy smiling. You know, I'm merely KU. You don't have sense. I see school is very important. You are an illiterate. You need to go and face your education. Give your name with a sense. It will end up boiling like ox. You don't have sense. You have a light brain. This one that I have not fed his family is the one promising you heaven and earth, and you are smiling. Well, I will not say anything. I'm waiting for you just three months. About two. I tell you nine months in one. When you when you get to that level, you will understand. But for now, you don't. I don't blame well, you. I'm not done, no. I don't have anything to say to you. It's your life. Enjoy. I don't blame you. You're me. a fool. Not I don't blame you. No, hug. Keep hugging. Keep your feet. Uh, pay no attention to her, okay? She's just killing herself for nothing. Uh, you know, all these palace busybodies now, bad belly. Looking oh. forward to pour sand. Honestly, this insult is too much. Like, it's too much. Well, come to think of it, she might be right. Right as how now. Right as how now. This this obi. Which kind of devil be this one? Eh? This guy is evil. Eh, Njide. Njide, please now. Njide. <sighs> on my door by this time of being. It's morning already. You no, 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 wait, wait. Let me, let me go and handle it myself. Oh, wow. Do not allow somebody to enjoy this thing. Hmm? Ah. <sighs> Come on, this one. Who's that? This house. No. Eh? Oh, hey, even the house. I don't understand. Why, why are you knocking on my door like this by this time of the morning now? Why are you people knocking on my door like this? Night? What is the time now? What kind of nonsense is this now? Why will you and your sister be knocking on my door by this 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 time of the morning? This this early morning. By this time, you are still sleeping. You are still sleeping. I don't understand. Am I supposed to be awake? You All your mates don't go work. You are still lying down. Eh? If you can stop wasting your time talking to this useless man, tell the reason why I make you come up for your yeah, beg. Hey, 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 hey. Oga. Hey, Buka. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. I am now too small that your sister will not talk to me anyhow she likes. Eh? Because we are living inside this yard. Yeah, you know if you pay Nepabi. Uh, young man, I'm here to collect, uh, or we are here to collect Nepabi, where you know they pay. Environmental B and security B. You never pay anyone. For how many months now? You never pay anyone. And you are still inside the house sleeping without light. Well, you, you never tell me when I join Vigilante. Not today. Yeah. No, I don't join NEPA. Today? You're asking me for NEPA B? Yes! For security B? Yes! Because so, of you, we know the get light for this compound again. Starting when? Because of me? Starting today. Yeah. My friend, don't, don't, don't you ever come and knock on my door to disturb me for well, this no, kind what, of what's going on? No, no, don't mind. Oh, no, no. Now, because of this woman, they say nah, nah, eh. So, you even carry woman, join body? No, I go carry man, join body. Woman, where you carry since last night? You still there with until now? Nine o'clock? And then go soon now. You still there with woman? With that light? Go inside, go inside. I'm coming. Let me handle this today. Hello. Come, bros. Pay your money. If not because of one thing. What's enough for do you here now? So you want to embarrass me for my girlfriend? Eh? You want to embarrass me? Hey, Buka. I'm respecting you. If not, what's enough? What's enough? Go squeeze this your sister mouth now. Eh? Okay, pay you know, pay but... you pay 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 make you come out. She still come your girl. Yes! Money no get money no get brother, money no get sister, money no get friend. Or pay up, never be. 
If you pay your make bill, if you pay your bills, nobody go talk to you carelessly. You didn't hear me? You are calling me Oga. Yes. I think you be before. Yes, sir, don't too much. As you see me, so yeah. I'm not going to pay shish. <laughs> Shishi! You, you lie! You go pay her whether you like it or not. You go give me the money now, now. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll pay her. I'll pay her. I'll pay her. I'll pay her. I don't understand. Jesus, Jesus. Now, because of you, we make us know the girl light for this compound. What you touch me? You even get my carry woman. There for house. There inside room with that fan, with that AC, bros. If you pay your bill, make her go come. You go enjoy her. You go enjoy her with fan, AC. How is it? You know, feel her. How could they carry woman deal with that light? Man? Bebuka, I see that we're now mates. <laughs> Let me tell you something. We're not mates. Mm -hmm. I have been around the world. Mm -mm. Forget that we're in this, this year together. I'm not your mate, Ebuka. I'm not your mate. I can fuck you up right now. Oh, wow. Huh. You don't, can fuck me up. Don't touch me again. Oh, no problem. Young man, pay your bill. Pay money now. Where did they go? You, you all be in the, the inside side. What did they go inside the room go do that? Ebuka, now you touch my clothes now. I'll get pay your bill, then tell me, sir, to touch your clothes. Make him not touch your clothes. Now, now you touch me now. I'll get person where, oh, no, they go inside. <laughs> Answer me, now you touch me. Now me touch you. Don't be you touch me. Touch me. Oga. I'm going to tell you, Oga. Hey, Buka! Pay your debt. Stop, stop. Hey, Buka! Pay your debt. Pay your debt. Look who get, get light for this house. You get out. You, get out. you see you. Hey, Buka, you leave this guy alone, don't never pay money. You dem mad? You dem mad? If I found you now, eh? You go come here and come and charge your phone. You go come here and come and charge your phone. Lights, no, they come and charge again. I beg no shout for you, Joe. Nonsense. Nonsense, human beings. You should have just left me so that I'll teach that useless boy a lesson. It cost everything. It I don't understand. What do you mean I cost it? I, I, I'm, I'm the reason why the stupid boy came to my house to ask me for Nepa bill. What, what kind of insult is that? You know, what kind of insult? What do you mean I cost it? What are you still doing in this compound? I mean, this local place doesn't fit you. Did you see what those fools we are vomiting out? Babe, I understand. I know it doesn't fit me. I'm also working very hard to make sure I gather money to uh, fix up myself now. Get a better apartment or even buy a house. Uh, after all, men, they run them now. You have to do something about it, though. You have to do so. You have to just look for a means to pack out of this place. I will. Honestly. I will, I will try my best. Gosh. No, they're just doing anyhow. I'll talk to my uncle today, sir. I'll talk to him and get some money. It's a normal thing. He'll give me the money. And yeah, you know I'm, I'm going tired. back to school tomorrow. I need some money. Like 500,000. This tomorrow? Yes, baby, this tomorrow. Hey. Mm. I don't have anything. I all have got. It's like 500k. Baby, it's alright. I'll, I'll see what I can do about it. Trust me. You promise? I promise you. Okay? You sure? I will. Yes, yes, I'm sure. We can still add some, like, I don't know. Maybe. Let me get this one first. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, right? You scared me. <laughs> I'm just joking, but 500k. You promise? Mm, I promise. Mm. I love you. I love you too. Don't Go fight next time. Yes, good. Type them out and please be fast with it. Oh, uh, okay. Yes, the chairman, local government chairman is sending somebody to pick it up. Okay, sir. Uh, Flora. Yes, sir. Please. Less mistakes. Right. Put speed. All right. All right, sir. Good afternoon. Frank. Hmm? You're not working? Uncle, I was working. I, I just came to ask you for a little favor. I need a loan. I need a little loan of 1.5 million naira to rent this house I saw. Where I'm staying right now is not conducive for a man of my caliber. 
So I, I thought of coming to take a loan from you. Frank. Frank. Oh, your, your Majesty. Not Uncle again. Frank. Uncle. This company has approved repeatedly small loans for you. And up until the last time I checked, you hadn't paid back any money. You hadn't returned any of the loans. And you're coming here to pick up another loan. I pay you well. 250,000 Naira a month is not small salary in a manner of speaking. Can't you use it and do these things you're supposed to do for yourself? True. You have done a lot for me. You have tried very well. Thank you so much. But the thing is, the condition of the country is, is terrible. You have 250,000 naira at the end of the month. Before you know it, phew, it will disappear. Fuel is expensive. The cost of um, um, food in the market is expensive. Everything is just, just anyhow. That, that's the problem. Yes, in spite of all that, people still get on. People who know what they're doing, they still get on. Frank, they get on. Listen, make savings, make savings, you can, if you really mean to. Look at you, somebody, anybody looking at you will know that you, there is no way you can ever save anything. Yes, see the shoes you put on, the dress you wear, the trousers, shirt, even the cap, Frank. Earring. Yes, earring. And the hair. This hair that makes you look like a witch or, or a girl. I think it's about, about time you, you decided whether you want to be a girl or a man. Safe. Courageous new generation look. Oh. Okay. <laughs> New generation look. Okay, it's also a new generation every time you go before uh, whoever to collect loan. New generation loan. Uncle, please, I, I need this money. It's very important. I don't want someone to collect that house. I want to pay for it fast. That, Frank, that's why. Frank, go back to your office. It's all right, Uncle. Um, Uncle, can I come back later? Maybe you're not in a good mood. No, not later. Right now. Here. Yeah. Sign. 20 million naira. 20 million naira? Yes, sign. I'm, I'm, I'm not with my pen. Uncle, uncle, give me, give me. I will also give you pen to sign for a loan of 20 million naira. Uncle, Frank! Well, I just asked for one point. Get out of here! Start this meeting. This is going to be a short meeting. I hereby make reference to
the black dot that occurred in this company. This company has suffered a big haste, big robbery, daylight robbery. And this type has never occurred in the history of this company. This company was awarded a, a contract by Lucimatic Incorporated to the tune of 80 million naira. A file like this was opened for that contract. Then all of a sudden, the contract flew and disappeared into thin air. Whoever that did it is here among us. And I want to sound a note of warning. Something like this will not happen to this company ever again. Frank, do you have anything to say on this? Um, Your Majesty, nothing really. Um, we're still um, we're still making investigations, and I will update you on the missing eighty million naira contracts, and I also update you on the progress of the company. Your Majesty, we are sincerely sorry for the eighty million naira worth of contracts we lost. I promise it will never repeat itself again. Um, sir, we promise to do our very best in the line of our duties and um, we will expose those who do not have the interest of this company at heart. Expose is the word. Expose. Expose whoever are the culprits. Thank you. Oh, thank you, sir. Frank, can you stay behind? With profound respect to you, Your Majesty, I'm here to tell you the truth. That Losmatic Incorporation did not cancel that contract. Frank cornered it to himself. Which I rejected. 
Your Majesty, I'm a man of conscience. I only said to myself, well, why would I want to backstab a company that has been so good to me? They've been there for me and my family. I can't do it. Um, Mr. Johnson. Your Majesty. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you is the least I can tell you now. Thank you very much. You have not heard the last of this from me. That I can assure you. You're welcome, Your Majesty. Uh, Your Majesty, one more thing. If you really want to find out what I have just told you, I will implore you to go to Lucimatic Incorporated to confirm. <sighs> Johnson, thank you very much. You're welcome, Your Majesty. You're a good person. You're a good person. Keep being good. I quite appreciate your majesty. Your majesty, please. I don't want you to tell him. I don't want him to know I told you anything. Ah. You can't take that from me. Why would I go discussing this issue with that? With a thief. All right, Your Majesty. I beg to take my leave right now. I need to return back to the office. I have pies of bread. Thank you. You're welcome, Your Majesty. This is nonsense. Your Majesty, what is all this? How can you address my brother as a thief? He is a thief. He is not a thief. Please. How can you call him a thief? Why has he come to this house before using a gun to threaten you? Have you heard that my brother went to the bank to rob a bank? No. Now tell me, why are you calling him a thief? In a broader light. Why? Please, I'm begging you, in God's name, stop it. That's enough. All right, if he were to be a thief, why is he then driving that cotton for a car? Money doesn't hide. I mean, you should have known that. Had it been here stolen from you, everyone would have seen him. Look at how my brother looks. Like a wretch, nothing. Yet you're calling him a thief. No I mean, he would have shined. It doesn't hide. Like I said earlier, Bonnie doesn't hide. And you know why? Tell me why, please. I tell you why your brother is irresponsible. Very, very irresponsible. Look at him. Look at your brother. Look at him. By mere looking at him, you would know he is a no-gooder. He is irresponsible, stealing all my money. Look at the way he puts his hair. So? Packing his hair, a man. A man packing his hair that way. Is it a responsible act? Of course not. Yes. He packs all my money. He steals all my money, but I tell you, Iko ye jugo, and now I am ready. I am ready to expose him in broad daylight in front of everybody in the office. Yes, I'm ready to deal with him. You are indeed stressing yourself, Your Majesty. 
As far as I'm concerned, my brother is innocent. Yes, he is an ingrate. Yes, your brother, terrible ingrate. He swindles me. Look at that. If you took our time to go through that, you would have known that your brother is a clever thief. But I am on top of it now. I am on him now. You need no ogre warrior. I need you to prove it. Oh? There must be a proof. Are you blind? Blind to what? Didn't you read those documents? Including the documents he forged, including my signatures he forged, including the bank papers. Didn't you read them? Your brother, he thinks he's clever. Don't worry. I have him by the balls and I'm going to squeeze until he breaks out of those things. He will regurgitate them. He will vomit them. You will not do anything to my brother. I'm telling you, you call this proof ordinary paper. Of course this is ordinary paper. There is nothing in there. Ordinary paper? And I'm glad you even said it's forged. I mean, some of the person would have gotten a paper to, you know, say that my brother did something. This is rubbish as far as I'm concerned. And your majesty, enough. You have insulted my family enough and I will not take it. How dare you? I mean, how dare you call my only brother a thief? In what way? In other words, you are also calling me a thief. My parents raised us well and I would not have you call my brother a thief. I have seen how your parents raised you, including your brother. Going in and out of my office. Going in and out of my papers, swindling me, changing signatures, changing bank accounts, taking, I mean, contracts that were due to me, swindling them. That's what your brother did. And all those things are contained here. You know what? I'm getting close. close I have close. gotten closer. I will show him. By the time I'm done with him, oh, he will swear. He will swear that he's, he doesn't know me. Oh, really? I am highly disappointed sitting here, hearing my husband calling my own brother a thief. In other words, you are also calling your wife a thief. A husband to a thief. Shame on you. I will not sit back here and have you call my family names. Never will I take it. Now, where is the driver? About it, I
God searches heart. He knows all your plans. The wages of sin is death. God searches heart. He knows all your plans. The wages of sin. I don't know. Why are you asking me? Am I not in this palace with you? you to tell me the truth and nothing but the truth. Did you die for my husband's 80 million naira contract? It's God forbid. Why would I do a thing, thing like that to your husband now? Why, why, why would I treat my, my, my sister's husband like that when you've not treated me wrongly? What, what, what kind of lie is this now? Okay. That's all. I believe you. <sighs> why, 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 why would someone accuse me of this kind of thing now? What kind of allegation is that? I have not even wished this for my enemies. What have I done to deserve this kind of uh, uh, accusations, please? It's alright. But I, I just don't understand why my life is like this. Maybe I should just go back to the village and start, start packing palm candle and selling pure water. My friend, will you shut up your mouth? Who is talking about you going back to the village when your elder sister is here? I can't let you suffer. It's all right, I believe you. You know, I'm, I just said, let me ask you for asking sake. Because he, he has been telling me, you diverted, you diverted. And I said, no, Frank can't do that. I can't, I can't do a thing like that. It's all right. It's all right. So where are you going? I'm, I'm going back inside the house. I'm not doing anything now. Just, just on my own. You will hear from me. Okay. No problem. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, you are the respective bosses of your various divisions. Recall that we met here some time ago. Recall that I did report that a heinous haste crime was committed against this company. Recall that I said that one of us, one of you, committed that crime. Well, the fat is on fire. The person or persons concerned, I am dealing with them, just like I am, as I'm dealing with the situation. Henceforth, Frank sees this to be an employer of this company. You will no longer see him in this company. If you ever see Frank or Frank's shadow in this company, hold him. Report him to the nearest police station. If you can't do anything, you can't.
can't run to me to tell me. I urge all of you, this is the company from where we all derive our daily livings. Let us work for this company. Let us not kill this company. That will be all for now. Thank, Thank you very much. much. All right, you may go back to your respective divisions. I have asked my brother a few questions and um, he confided in me that he didn't do that which you accuse him of. Your Majesty, accusing my brother of stealing is an insult to my person. Therefore, I demand an apology from you. You aren't saying anything. <laughs> Your Majesty, if you don't apologize to me from now till morning, my attitude will change towards you and you would not like it. You're walking out on me. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> you will realize you've made a very big mistake. Thank you. Where's everyone? The king went to his office and the queen and the prince is inside me. Oh, oh, that's fine. Yeah. How are you, my darling? How is work? Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. The chef told me that you refused taking your lunch. Is that true? Yes, ma'am. And why is that? See, mom, I, like, I don't feel like it's food by force. I have come. My daddy, food is not by force. Just that I don't want you to develop ulcer. So mom, mom, I need to minimize the way I eat. Huh? Yes, because too much food is no good for everybody. And besides, it makes me grow fat and I don't like it. You're not fat already. Well, Look at you. Uh, what? Come here! Mom, no! Look at this one. How are you? Look at Mommy. Come here. Trouble, 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 trouble. Oh my god. Come here, give me a tight spoke. Mm. Why will you even mean? come back without telling anybody? Mommy, like seriously, do I need to make a grand announcement before coming to see my beautiful mother? 
Barista Mama, you should have called us first. You are in Lagos. Lagos is quite far. Mommy, not to worry. Just an hour flight, you know. Less than an hour. Ah, you're welcome, sweetheart. Thank you. Please, can you kindly take my bags to my room? Okay, my Thank goodness. you very much. Yeah, welcome once again. Oh, look at you. So, how are you? Fine. And how is cool? Um, Tell me it's fine because you have a pot belly. That means I'm feeding and you. you. Good. How is your own school and how is Lagos? Lagos is fine. I know. I missed you and missed daddy, especially this coconut head. Oh. <laughs> this boy. Yeah, but the school is stressful. Goodness. Uh, that's to tell you. Nothing good comes, comes easy. easy. Like you've always said. Mm. I remember mm. that. <laughs> Come here. So. Baby brother. So have you been? Because Hello, Frank. Yeah, how are you? I missed you. What? I beg your pardon. My husband. What? Daddy? All right, Frank, just uh, calm down. Okay? Calm down, calm down. I'll call you back. What happened to that? Mom? <laughs> Mom, what, what happened to that? Mom, what happened? Your father just sacked my brother, Frank, from his company. Why? What? Um, wow. Why? I mean, I'm just asking the same question. Why? Why is it that your father doesn't want to see me happy? Oh. Why does he like to make me unhappy? No, Why? Uh, Mom, I think you have to calm down at this point. I mean, because Daddy's not here yet. Why don't you wait until you hear from him? He must have a valid reason for doing this, don't you think? Just relax. Daddy's very smart. He knows what he's doing. Oh, I'm really? Bad. He's smart. And I'm dull. Uh, no! Your mother is dull. Mom, your father is smart. No, no, no. Now no. tell me, what could be his reason? Mom, that's not what I mean. That's the question. What could be? Okay, can you just calm down? Because you've been paranoid. Just calm down, okay? You're not very close to daddy. And I'm sure he will tell me the reason. So just relax and wait. He'll be back soon. And I'll ask him, okay? Hmm? It's no. okay. It's no, 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 no. I won't say any other thing. No problem. Okay, so mom, why is your face still like this? Okay, I can see you're not happy to have me back home. So I can as well take the next flight and go back to school. And please, um, please tell them to bring my box back. Let me go back to school. My friend, what? go back to the room and rest. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Head of admin. Your Majesty. This meeting concerns you primarily. You're welcome to this briefing. Thank you, Majesty. Thank you, Majesty. Thank you, sir. Um, I've actually called this meeting to uh, make some important pronouncements, some promotions. Mr. Johnson, okay, okay. Majesty. Has been promoted the general manager of this company. Wow! This appointment takes immediate effect. Wow. <laughs> Mr. Johnson. Your Majesty. As soon as this meeting comes to a close, you move into the general manager's Office. First and foremost, Your Majesty, I want to sincerely say a big thank you and then appreciate you for this sudden uh, promotion that you have just accorded unto me. I'm clouded right now with so much excitement and joy that I sincerely don't have an adequate word to express my, my excitement. But I just want to say a big thank you to you, Your Majesty, and then to my colleagues here for being there for me, for being so supportive and very, very encouraging. A big thank you to all. 
And Congratulations. My amiable secretary, <laughs> you're doing a great job. Keep it up. Thank you once again, Your Majesty. May God bless you, sir. Yes. Yes. That office has been purged of all the evils that have been hibernating at the various crevices of the office. And henceforth, there shall not be another evil emanating from that office. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
But I must tell you to your face, you are wicked. You don't even care or tolerate your people. What kind of a king are you? Are you not a wicked man? And you're here touching me. Don't touch me again. You're my wife. If I don't touch my wife, I'll be a giliac. Who will I touch? Huh? Who is your Obiagiliako? Listen, Your Majesty, I don't want to push you. You know your age. I just don't want to push you at all. So let me be. Obiagiliako, Obiagiliako, which one have I eaten? I'm asking you. Gang Kemlibi. Wicked man, you should be ashamed of yourself. Nonsense. Honey, my baby, what's going on? You have been more since. I lost my job. And I'm thinking of how to start afresh. I'm thinking of relocating to Abuja. How? Why? I don't know. I got fired. Jesus Christ. It's all right. Um, a friend of mine promised to give me connections in Abuja. I just need to get out of this town, and go to Abuja, and start afresh. You know. Leave me. What are you going to do in Abuja? It's also now. Man needs to hustle. I know. I want to. I need to meet new people and um, do things for myself. Okay? Um, it's, uh, and I need to go and see him now. He said I should be there by five, and I'm sure it's almost five. I miss you so much. Abuja is far from me. Relax. We'll still be together, okay? Uh, we'll be communicating. I need to go and see him now. You know, these rich people, this is how they behave. They don't like um, coming late. So, yeah. let me go and see him, okay? I wish you success, okay? Thank you, babe. Make more money, okay? I will. Love you. I love you too. Kiss me. Babe, I don't have time for a kiss now. Let me go and see. Please wake me, please. I'm not in the mood, you don't understand. I don't hear everything where you talk. But you see that your in-law. A very wicked man. I will go lie down. Let me to tell you. Just travel go Abuja. Forget the rest. Me and my boys go handle the rest. The only thing there be say, you go find us something. You know, me and my boys just take down guard. Maybe they just take the good. 
it now blow, make them blow, it now things and things, make them just done. On. As for the job, me I go handle it, I'm not shaking. I mean, they tell you now. My problem is, is that I don't want anything to link this thing to me. I don't want my sister to see me as a bad person. I, 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 if this thing casts like this, uh, how will I face the world? Bro, bro, Frankie. Let they look down on Togo T now. If you don't believe me, you go find me calm. No. Why they do like that now? It's not your in-law. Me personally, I go blow him short. You're not supposed to look me less less. When I tell you something, just do him. Forget the rest. She now when I know package the job, you go begin para. I don't tell you say. Just spill out. My said to my boys. Every other thing I sell them and say. Just go Abuja where you want to go. So that on high day Abuja, as a matter they stop for here, nobody go to think that you run them. They get what they tell you. Me, if I the wrong matters, I they try me everything they clear. So that tomorrow you know you come meet me, they tell me, say, see I see busy, see busy. If you don't believe me, why you find me come now? Why they do like that now? See me, I tell you something now. Forget the rest. I deliver past Conga. Get what they tell you. Except you know get funds to pill out. I first say get funds to pill out. You see that your in-law? Ah, I write you don't set now. Why did you do like that now? If they play with Togo T, then they whine me now. No problem. How oh, for you? No problem. Just no. pillow, forget the rest. I go handle her. How far to Belize? What's going on now? I've not heard anything about the mission. Okay, all right, all right. Well, what do you suggest I do now? What are you saying I should do? Um, I think you have a point there. Give me till next week. I'm going to Abuja next week. When I get there, I'll call you. Yeah? All right now, I'm like, thank you. I just want to run along so I don't um, miss my flight. No, you're not supposed to miss mm -hmm. your flight for any reason. Yes, so... <clears throat> Mommy, mm -hmm. why is your face still like this? Hmm? Well, we talked about it already. Look, Daddy promised to do something. And I take him for his words. Dad? Hmm? You... Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Good. Well, <laughs> Mom, you see, I told you. Yes, All right? You have to hurry up. Hurry up! Hurry up! So much. Driver is ready. I'm, I'm sure you don't want to miss your flight. Cry. You should take care of yourselves, okay? Come on, go on. <laughs> go on. You want to miss your flight or what? Sorry. Come on, don't buy me. <laughs> Shall we? Hello, Frank. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing okay. What? You? Relocating to where Abuja? Why? What for? Frank, listen, listen. Nah, nah, listen to me. Listen. Don't go anywhere. I say don't go... Oya, listen to me. I will come and see you. 
Okay? Make sure you don't go anywhere till I come. Please. It's all right. Brother is not worth all this trouble you're trying to make. He's not. Now I know that you don't even you don't love my family at all. You just wanted a wife and you got me. No love at all in your heart for my family. Let's eat. There are issues that are not supposed to be discussed on the dining table. Hmm? For your brother, after all, I can get him a job elsewhere. You get my brother a job elsewhere? Yes. When we have a company where my brother can walk? God have mercy. You know what, Your Majesty? Enjoy the meal. I'll pass my habit of it. Mom! Come on, Dad! You're not done with your food. Mom! Eat. Mom! Come here, Mom. Don't worry, Mom. Come here, Mom. We'll keep our food. Quiet. So eat it later. Do you like the food? It's good. Eat. 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 You know, the more you, the more you eat, the bigger, the taller. There we come. Is everything all right? Um, I'll, I'll be right back. back. All right. Again you invited me. Again? I mean, you couldn't even tell me. 
It was impromptu. I mean, this FK of yours will not just let you sit down in one place and concentrate. You don't even think about school, exams, and... I mean, you don't put all that into consideration. She just jet off at the next available call from him. Huh? Mm, it was impromptu. I had to go. A phone call, I mean, at least to me. I was worried sick about you. Babe, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Do you know, the painful part is that he didn't even give me a dime. But you know, I, I really hate to say that I told you. I've always told you that. When you have needs, you can always ask. You can always ask me. I'm here. All right? I'm your friend. I should be able to come in in times like this. Instead of jumping out of school at the slightest call from your so-called FK, leaving exams and everything behind. For how long? You have done enough. You are doing everything for me. But I'm not complaining, am I? I'm not. So, how much are you looking for? I have to pay my school fees, my house rent, and also buy my handout. I just, I wish my parents were alive. I mean, it's okay. The burden is too much. No, it's fine. I'm not complaining. All right? If I say I'm your friend, that's what friend. I mean, what are friends for? If I can't help you in times like this. So, all of this together is going to cost you how much? About 250,000. See, it's too much. I still have your account number, so. Okay. Check your phone. Jesus Christ. 300,000? It's okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Come on. I love you. Me too. Do you, you have, have friends? Done enough. Don't say anything. How am I going to pay you back? This is not for you to pay back. Come on. What are friends for? Now, you go into the kitchen and fix your stomach. Of course I will. Your bags. The kitchen. Your I'm bags. Coming. Your I'm bags. Goodness. My beautiful queen. The queen after my heart. Baby Njemono. You are my tomato. Mimin chokum. Asabibim. The queen of Ezinabo kingdom. So how are you today? <laughs> What's your problem? Why do you always spoil for a fight? <clears throat> huh? All the time, fight, 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 fight. Why? See, you saw me come in, but pretended you didn't see me. Not even to inquire concerning where I went to for the traditional council meeting. Ah, I will not fight. No, I will not. You will not fight? <laughs> Your Majesty, I am ready to fight. Believe me, 
I will go out of my way to fight you very well. As long as my family doesn't mean anything to you, I will fight you. Oh, that. Your family. Your family. Mm -hmm. The family from where I married you. The family for which I built a big mansion, a big house. The family from where I picked their first son, brought him to me and elevated him to the position of the general manager of my company with all the appurtenances of power. No. I will not fight. I will <laughs> not. Why are you scared of fighting now? I'm talking about the fair one, the family. That you sucked your first son and made him unemployed. That's the exact family I'm talking about. We'll fight, oh. Of course, we will. <laughs> no. I will not fight. <laughs> I will not fight. I won't. Are you done? I can see you have nothing else to say other than you will not fight. And I will keep repeating it to you that I am willing to fight and I will fight with everything in me. I will go out of my way to fight you. Come on now, you should be ashamed of yourself. His royal majesty, yet poor people are still hungry. People that are close to you are hungry. Isn't that a shame? Relax. I think I know what to do. A day will come when I will come. I will come to that place where you people are holding your traditional realist meeting. And I will come tell them who you really are. Relax. Or better still, I will write a petition against you. Let them know who you truly are. <laughs> I will not fight you. All right, then. I will not fight you. <laughs> So much for the breakfast. Okay. I ate in a hurry, but I loved it. Okay? Yes, and please don't the yam and egg sauce. Not too much pepper. Yes, Alright? Did you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Not too much pepper. Yes. Alright, baby. Bye. See you soon. Listen, mom, I am tired, all right, because I am the one at the receiving end of all of this. I am leaving for school right now. And before you see me in this house again, it's going to be very hard. Please, 
please. Dad, I'm leaving for school. Oh. Where's my handbag? No, please, leave the handbag. Let your boss be. It has not gotten to that. It has. So please don't do it. I'm begging. Anyway, if you want me to stay back, you know what to do. I don't understand. Mom, do the right thing. But I'm sorry. Were you really going, Mom? I mean, this makes me happy. I'm sure you're happy too. Ain't you, Dad? Is it because you look like your daddy? <laughs> Mom! Thank you. Come and sit here. Come and sit here. Oh, that's better. I love you. We all going out together as a family today. I'm so excited, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> I am too, I am too. You see, uh, we really never had a real problem with your mother. It's simple misunderstanding. Look at her, smiling. Just leave me, Your Majesty. You don't expect me to have the same understanding with you. You're a man. Ah, ah. Look at that! <laughs> she now understands that she's a woman. Ah. And I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. Genuinely so happy. Oh. Would you do this often, please, Daddy? Please. Eh? Would eh? you do this often? Hey, why not? Please, why not? We've started yes. doing it. Yeah, to please. Yeah, to please. Okay. You. Trouble, trouble. <laughs> We've started that is, it. That we'll, go ahead. Like. we'll go out again. Yeah. As much as time allows. Of course. Yes. Because why not? A family that actually stay together, they bond together. together. That's right. yeah, they bond more. <laughs> yes. Let me know what the problem is. Ah, my guy. 
Is there a problem? Let me help you push the car out. No. Uh -huh. Come, let's me. No, sorry. 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 My king. My king. My king. My king. My king. What happened? My king. My king. My king. My king. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. My king. 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 Who do we call? Hello, my daughter. The queen of Ezinabo kingdom. Yes. How are you? Huh? Yes. Why are you crying? Your husband? No. It's not possible. When? How? No, no, no. My daughter, stop crying. Stop crying. I'm coming. I'm coming. Please, please. Stop crying. Uh, driver, please can you tell us how it all happened? My elders, we were on our way. When we noticed a car parked in front of us, I went down to go know what the problem was. And one of the boys pointed a gun at me. And the other ran to the car and shot the king dead. <gasps> Ow! And shot the eagle. Just like that. Just like that. Igwe Kletus. Kletus. Oba Kwebi. Ay! Igwe Ije Monu. My Ibenabo is gone. My Ibenabo is gone. Hey. Oh. Let us one walk with me. Oh, girl, I ain't got You go put the energy, just na na. You carry on, you carry on. They shot him dead. They shot him dead. They laid their hands on our king. Hey. Oh, away, hey, oh. Hey, away, oh. Yeah. Oh, away, hey, oh. They were not afraid. They shot our king to death. The gods of our ancestors watched them and they saw them. Eh? Let me tell you this. They shall know no peace in their lives. He said. Yes. They shall be haunted by their own conscience Jesus. until they all perish. He said. Yes. No matter what they run in this whole world, if they run to the north, they are in trouble. He said. To the south. He said. <laughs> then to the east, he said. they shall be roasted alive. If they try the West, hmm, they will all perish at once. He said, Their generation will not know, will know anything. He said, they cannot have a sustained generation. He said, Their own is gone. Their hope is gone. Their families are gone. Whatever I tell about them is gone. Better, better. Because of our land. Hmm. Come and judge it. Hmm. My king, Cletus, hmm. the king of Ezinabo kingdom, we don't die like a coward. Not that you did that in battle. You were taken on our ways by British men who murdered you on cold blood. You are not a coward, a brave and pragmatic king. You were in your generation. We celebrate you. Whether alive or dead, you are celebrated. Rest in peace. Yeah, While your, your, your executors will rest in pieces.
<coughs> My queen, it is said that um, the very good thing you do for the dead is to bury him. Our late king, your husband, was a very good man. He doesn't joke with us, his cabinet members. Okay. He loves us so much. And this is the time to reciprocate the love he has for us. Mm. To this end, we, his cabinet members, have decided that we'll not just sit down and sleep as if it doesn't concern us, but we must wake up and go all out to make sure we unravel the mystery behind the sudden death. Traditionally, we are going through traditional means to make sure that we fish out them that are involved in the killing of our king and we'll catch them and they will suffer the recompense of their wickedness. That is it, my queen. Oh, no. My queen. Thank you. Thank you so very much. You have spoken well. My elders, I thank you. Thank you all so much. What you people are doing is just the right thing, I must confess. You're doing the right thing, and I cannot stop you people from doing what you feel is right and what I feel is right. But truth be told, I am a Christian. There are some certain things my Christian faith is against. Therefore, I will not engage in anything tradition. Rather, I have decided to leave everything in the hands of God. Those that murdered my husband, let God judge them. That's all I have to say. Hmm. Our queen, you have spoken well. But... Let me tell you this. We will do what we want to do, and there's no going back. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. But please, take heart and leave the fight for the gods to fight for we elders of the land. But I want you to know that no one, no one will kill our Igwe, his royal majesty, Igwe Cletus, and go scot-free. Never. 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 It's not possible. It's not possible. Christianity or no Christianity, we will go ahead and do what we are going to do. Hmm? Your Majesty, please, our Queen, just allow us. It's okay. Our Queen, I'm sure you have heard the words of uh, Ishe Pius. The thing is, the matter is simple. You are not in this picture. We just want to let you know to fulfill all righteousness. I know you are not a traditionalist. I know you are in the church. But, and you also know that I am the traditional prime minister of this kingdom. You know. Go ahead and follow your church way and let God answer us. But I must not leave the gods out of this. I will worry them. I will go extra length with this my co-cabinet members, to make sure that whoever was responsible for the death of our king is brought to book. That person will suffer the traditional punishment 
and whatever it takes. His life will become useless. But I'm not going far with this because what we have at hand is better. It's, 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 it's even greater now. As in the use in your honor, we need to bury our king before any other thing. Then after the burial, we will go on an ambition. You will see the result. So please keep attending the church and everything. Uh, the way people worship. While we are also to continue to worship our own way. What we want is this. If I turn again, knock up again, as well, at the end, let us have victory. Huh? Uh, at this juncture, my queen, please take heart and take good care of yourself. Don't think much. Not even at midnight. Huh? Take care of yourself. Take care of the princess and the prince. If there is any need to contact me, send your guard. I will come at once. Thank you, Anna. Oh? Thank you. So See you. Thank 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 you. Just in shock. I can't believe this happened. Please take heart, okay? Instead, my father was murdered. My father was killed in my right in front of me. I start the pain, the trauma. I can't, I can't just put it behind me. However hard I try, so hard to put it behind, but I can't. The pain is just too, just too much. I have cried, Esther. I have cried. But it's obvious that my father is never going to come back. I have asked God. I have asked God to expose his killers. I have asked God to punish them wherever they are. I'm just, I'm just waiting for God to answer me. God will definitely answer you. Trust me, he will. Because he will never allow the sorrowful tears of his children to be in vain. God will definitely answer us. He will. Hello, Frank. Where are you? Abuja. What are you doing in Abuja? And when did you even travel to Abuja? Frank, honestly, you, you, you surprised me. I'm telling you. Frank, when I told you that I lost my husband, you couldn't even call to check up on me up until now. Even if my husband offended you, Frank, it shouldn't be enough reason for you not to attend this funeral. That's too bad. Ticket to Dubai. Which Dubai? Now listen to me, Frank. Cancel that ticket. Frank, you heard me. I said, cancel the ticket. Listen to me. Listen. Frank, if you don't cancel that ticket, believe me, I won't forgive you. Frank, you listen to me. Hmm? I'm your elder sister. If you fail to do what I asked you to do, like I said earlier, I will never forgive you again. I'm telling you, try me and see. Better. I will give you time to think about it, so I'm going to call you back in the next two hours, Frank. Very stop. 
maupun tua Alpha now my guy calm down calm down we did that to go tea we don't do clean job as I they talk to you now the king don't go down my bro no shaking let it down to go tea now what if they saw no shaking everywhere I go everywhere I go when you lap we will package everything no shaking I'll deal with you everywhere I go when I don't pee Frank, can you please listen to me? Please, you need to come help your sister. Now, listen to me now. Whatever problems or issues you had with my husband, you should know that he's dead. I'm not even against you, you know, not attending my husband's funeral. No, I'm not angry. Please, all I'm saying is, whatever it is that you have in mind against him, in any way he offended you before he died, I just want you to forgive and forget. Frank, all I'm saying is for you to come help. Come and help your sister. Take over my husband's company. Please. You know everything about this company. I mean, you can't be here. And I'll go and hire somebody that will come and run down my husband's company. Please, I'm begging. Frank. Frank. I know you are stubborn. But then... This is the first time I'm asking you for a favor. Had it been my, my, my little prince is grown, I wouldn't have been begging you. But he's still a small boy. Please. Hello, Frank. Papa, I, I invited you over so that uh, I will tell you what Frank is doing to me. Okay. Frank is not behaving well. Oh. Of course, Papa. I have been begging Frank to come take over my late husband's company. And Frank doesn't want to show up. I know too well Frank can run my husband's company properly because he knows everything about the company. He knows the in and out, the secret about the company. Yet he doesn't want to show up. Papa, you know that Prince is still a small boy. Yes, I do. Prince cannot take over his late father's company. My daughter, Princess, is still in school. Yes, both of them are young. Please, help me talk to Frank. Please. Okay, my daughter. Where is Frank now? He told me that he's now in Abuja. Frank in Abuja? That's what he said. When did he travel to Abuja and what is he doing there? Do I even know? I don't know. That was just what he told me that he's now in Abuja. That he has started work, uh, that he's working with one company that sends him to abroad often. I, I just don't understand. Frank, my son. Walking in Abuja. And he's always traveling abroad. My daughter, I know my son very well. He cannot travel to Abuja without telling me. I don't believe this story. Please call him for me now. I didn't believe him too. Papa, take his ring and... 
Hello, Frank, my son. Papa, Papa, I can't hear you. What are you saying? Hmm. Papa, I'm on my way to the airport like this, so I'm not going anywhere. Papa, if you know what that man did to me, if you know what that man did to me, you'll not be telling me all these things. You listen to me very carefully now. Now you want me to go back and go ma 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 manage this company. For what? Papa, I'm not going there. Oh. I'm not going anywhere. Papa, I have another job now. As I'm speaking to you, I'm at Nikon Nuga Hotel. Chilling. I'm just waiting for my flight time so that I will go to Dubai, have a meeting there, and then come back to Nigeria. I don't need that nonsense business now. Baba? Baba, I'll call you back, please. I can't hear you. That place is very noisy. No, it's not from my end. It's from your end. Okay, Papa, I've heard what you said there. Eh? I've heard you. Okay. It's all right, Papa. I've heard you. What did he say? He didn't even say anything. He said he's coming back tomorrow. Oh, that's what he told you. Exactly. Oh, God. Gentlemen from my husband's company, I welcome you. All right, I called you here to let you know that, um, first of all, I'm sorry I would have come to the office, but then I'm still in my morning clothes. That's the reason I invited you to, and I'm glad you came. It's all right. Having said that, uh, purpose for this little meeting is just to let you know that um, my younger brother, Frank, will be returning to the company as the new managing director of my late husband's company. So when you go back, I would like you to help pass this message to other staff for them to cooperate with my brother. Maximum cooperation, that's what I need here. Please. One more thing. Anything that has to do with money, any transaction whatsoever that has to do with money must pass through his office before the transaction will be carried out. Have I made myself clear? Thank you so very much. I'm glad you accepted because you have no choice. Thank you. So that will be all for now. That's the reason I called you all. See you guys at work tomorrow. Good. Good. <laughs> Very short meeting. Yeah. Frank, thank you so much for accepting to help your sister. I mean, it's not easy. I mean, I've been begging you, my brother, because I know you're capable of carrying my husband's company from building it from, you know, nothing to something. It's nothing to start. It's nothing. All right, you're welcome. So when are you going back to school? Monday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you know, I cannot just wait to finish with my education so I can come join you in the running of Daddy's company. It will be so much fun. No, no. <laughs> Leave the running of the company for the man. <laughs> Once you're done with school, you practice what you studied, which is law. No, but Uncle, okay. I don't think running a company is a gender thing, you know. I mean, I can offer my service. I'll be more than willing to do that. I mean, my father went through a lot sending me to school and the least I can do is to give back. It's more like giving back, you know? 
to the company. <laughs> I'll be glad, mommy. <laughs> mommy, what do you think? I think she's right. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. You're, you're, you're I actually... think the company needs a lawyer, a good yeah. lawyer at that, and I know I'm going to be the best of for course, myself. So. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> uh, you can always come, come around the company to see how the company is going. Mm? Of course. And if there's a problem, we'll hire you as the company's lawyer. You don't even have to pay me because I am going to give my all. We have to pay you. Everybody needs money. Ah, pay enough of the so arguments. <laughs> enough, enough, enough. You and your baby sister. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, all yeah. right. It's, it's all right. right. <laughs> yeah. She's highly intelligent. What type of a brother in love is this? He's not far from a prodigal son. He's wicked, so extravagant. Living life is all he wants. Mm. Money is your target. You don't care how it comes. You're too greedy. This is what he thinks of, he's ready to kill for me. He's too greed and wicked. He loves money too much. Money is your target. He don't care how it comes. You're too greed and wicked. He's so much in love with money. Money is what he thinks of, he's ready to kill for me. He's too greed and wicked. He's too greed and wicked. Money is your not target. wicked. Don't care how to You're too greedy and wicked. Money is what it is. Father came to say it. Yes, Mr. Man, what is it? I came to find out if you are the one that wrote this termination letter to me. Whose signature do you have there? Your signature, of course, Frank. So, what do you have a problem with? The signature? Or the content of the letter. Fired? On what basis am I being fired, Frank? What if I don't to deserve this? Mr. Man, we cannot have two captains in one ship. Especially when the smaller captain is a threat to the bigger captain. You're lucky I'm in a very good mood today. I would have framed you up and sent you to jail for a very long time. And by the time you come out, you will realize how not to mess with people. For real? Yeah, for real. Now I get it right. Frank, are you trying to use me to start your part also? But let me make it clear to you that this thing you have just did, you will live to regret it. It's a promise. I've done a lot of wrongs in my life, but I do not regret any. I want you to always know and have it to the back of your head. That I, Frank, sucked you with no penny in your pocket. <laughs> I know there's nothing I can do about this. Uh -huh. But this is the peak and the height of wickedness with the devil himself draws. Mr. Man, get out. You can't do nothing. I will leave. Uh. But like I said, you will live to regret it. Uh. Sister, what I'm saying in essence is you are your husband's next of kin before he died. And right now, I need you to make me a signatory so I can have easy access to money to run some things in the company, especially contracts. Yes, we have a lot of contracts to run, lots and lots of contracts, and we need money to do that. In your condition, you cannot just leave the house and follow me every time to the bank to, to, to sign money. No, it's not nice. So I need you to make me a signatory to the account. Okay, Frank, like, um, how many contracts are we talking about here? While I was in company before your husband sat me, we had like 18 contracts. Yes, and now I'm back. We have another seven on top of the 18. And there are lots of contracts to execute now. And these contracts are government contracts, and we need money to run them. We cannot execute them without money. And of course, you know that's how the company makes money. 
from this contract. So we need every contract at hand right now. Are you serious, Frank? Yes, I am. All right. Very serious. It's okay. In that case, eh? You have to come out tomorrow. Let me take you to the bank for you to meet our company's uh, account officer. All right. Okay? All right, so no you will sign your signature. It's all right. That's, that's good. That's very good. So that we can put things in place immediately. Hmm. Sister, the kind of money I'll make for that company, you'll be shocked. You don't need to say. I'm telling you. I trust you 100%, my own brother. Ah. Kai! I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> you know that company is like my company. Eh? I'll do everything to make it stand out. Trust me. I trust you. Meanwhile, have you heard from the princess? Yes. Uh, I spoke with her uh, two days ago. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. What about the prince? He's sleeping. <laughs> sleep, sleep. <laughs> A big man. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's all right, sister. I'll have to be on my way now. Mm? It's okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's all right. You I am grateful. Uh -huh. I am grateful, Frank. It's all right. Thank it's you. Want to be good, too grateful. <laughs> <laughs> all Frank, right. Bye bye, eh? It's a deep As a DB, I seen a look at a like a music agent. It's now exactly 24 market days now since our king died. And we came to complain to you. You now told us to go and come back, that you will consult with the gods and tell us who killed the king. Exactly. That is the reason we are here. Yes. I have consulted the girls. And the girls have spoken. Good. Mm -hmm. Ha! Eyes on the girls. So, the, the girls have spoken. Now, who did they say killed the king? <laughs> who did the girls say it that killed the king? Go! and ask king's brother-in-law. He knows what happened to the king. What? Huh? Is it Are you sure you know what you just said now? <laughs> you do not ask the ghost question. Makana mo adasiasi. Nene. Nene. Is it We believe you very well. Hi. But what if we ask him? And he denies it. What do we do? Leave him and come back. I will tell you people what to do. The fight is for the girls. Thank you. Hey, let us go and do what I ask you people to do. Thank you. Naya, I give you. I am top of the kita of Bunny Room. You say, can I do it? Uh, we shall come out outside and come back later. So, what are they? Thank you. Alupuana Fondemo Alupuana Fondemo, the Bona de Gedana Mekene, and I want to go around the Mekene. As Nabakalaya Mosa Manoza Yana, Apa Buda Nebus Alolo Alolo, Olu Luguma Gana Gatuano. Or two more cooking water, one cooking when one goes so. Elders, why are you people uh, standing? Please, let's go inside. Um, it's okay, I'll be. Um, the reason we are here, my queen, is not to sit down. I uh, just as well go straight to the point. I hope all is well. All is well. We are here to pass a message for Miss Yamu. My queen, tell your brother Frank that the elders of this land want to see him in the palace tomorrow to give him a message from Ezemor of Obukute. I beg your pardon. 
What, yes. are, what are you talking about? What message from Izemu? Let your brother come and hear the message first. Then, if he refuses to oblige, then whatever he sees, he takes. Hold on, please. Now, what is my brother's business with Ezemo? That's what I'm talking about. What hmm. kind of message is that? If he calls, we'll give him the message. Thank you. Oh, so let's go. What is all this? Why rejecting the drink I brought for you people? Why? Ah, Queen. We are not here to drink. Instead, we are here on a very important mission, which we must achieve. <clears throat> Our Queen, I'm sure you are. You can still remember the message sent by Ezemo to you through us. Two days ago. And we sent a message to your brother, Frank, through you. Where is he now? Because um, he can't keep us all day here. Yeah, um, I know, I believe um, he will soon be here. Hmm? Yes, I passed your message across to him, so hopefully he'll be here soon. Okay. Sister? Frank. What's up? Mm. Good. What's going on? He's here. Oh, okay. good. Good enough. Uh, Frank, yeah. we sent for you through your sister, our queen. Okay. Frank. Oh, no. You are aware that our Ugo is late. Mm hmm. I am. Good. And you are also aware that he was killed by a non government. Yes, he was attacked. He was attacked by a non government. Good. God punished him. On hearing such news, mm. we, the elders of this land, swore never to go in arrest until we unravel the mystery mm -hmm. behind his death. Yes. Until we know those, until we fish out those who were instrumental to untimely death of our king. That's, that's such true. brutal death. Mm. And you are fully aware that the incident happened after you had a kind of face off with him, had problem with him. Yes, mm -hmm. over his I, company. And he was sacked. Mm -hmm. I don't understand, no. Just do try to understand, very important. Where are you going to with this statement of yours? No, I don't get it. What, 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 what's the meaning of what you just said? Now, we proceeded to uh, go shrine. Go, go shrine. Yes. And after consultations, the chief priest told us to tell you to go and ask you what happened to the king? Because you are fully aware of everything that led to his death. I beg your pardon. What? Yes. yes. That's what I, I said. I said, you know, the chief said, you know everything that led to the death of our Igwe. That was actually why we sent for him. Mm. Enough! Which means he killed him. What? Yes. Now what is all this? What's the meaning of this? You killed him. Honestly, my queen, I think you're not getting this thing straight. Allow me get it now. Yes. You talk to me. Let, hey. me. let me clear you properly. Our oracle is pointing accusing fingers to your brother Frank for everything that happened to the king. Hey! Mm -hmm. Do you now understand? He killed the king. What? He killed your own. Sister, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You said this to my face. Sister, relax. You Come said on. that my brother, Frankie, killed my own husband. The oracle said it. Oh my goodness. Your oracle is indeed a liar. What? Of course you heard me. If not for the respect I have for you people, I would have called my guards to bundle you red-cap men out of this palace. What? Are you insane? What? 
Sister, hold on. Let me let me talk to these old fools. Eh? All right. Listen and listen good. I want you all to go back to that your wretched oracle. Tell that oracle to retire. Because other oracles, other places have retired and are destroyed. They're all retired. Do you get Go back and tell your lying oracle to retire. Your oracle is fake. Hey. Your own foolish men. What? Useless men. Frank. Do you realize what he just says an abomination? Shut up! Shut up right now! You are the abomination, all of you! You are all abominations! What am I even saying? Sister, you are here. I'm going to freaking call the police to come and arrest this man for accusing me wrongly and dirty my image. I'm not going to take this. I'm not going to take this! Enough! It hasn't gotten to that. Let them be. Okay. They're old enough. Oh, but listen to me. Listen to what? How dare you think you have the, the, the audacity to insult the elders and the oracle? Imagine. Oh, Google Shrine! Now listen to me. You are in fact demanded to come to Google Shrine and swear. And that is as that is as soon as possible. But then, let me say this. Elders, Bios, this battle is for the gods. gods. Ah. This battle is for the gods. We are not supposed to fight for the gods. We will fight for himself. Get ready to go there and swear. Oh no! Enough! It's high time you left the palace. Oh, when I say I will live in good faith. Out! I will live. I said out! Place. Yes, I will live and we shall come back. You are home. walking the elders of the land out of your house? Don't stop let's go. Go, 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 go. Get out! Get us go. Get out! How dare you? Did you just say get out? I oh God, get out! Hey! Do not send for me. Shh. Do not dare send for me. If you point your hand towards the queen again, <laughs> listen to me. I want a strike the oh God. My husband, are you insane? Now will you get the hell out of this place? What kind of nonsense is this? No, but what, 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 what nonsense is this, sister? Maybe they're angry at me because I'm the one who's managing the company when I'm not even from this kingdom. They're expecting one of their sons to be the manager, not me. Why haven't I thought of this? My goodness, you know, when my husband was alive, I'm sure he's used to giving them peanuts all the time. Maybe that's what they're expecting you to do. Rubbish. Maybe that's all the one for me, but... It's all right. Let, let, let the, the kids take care of them. It's all right. No, it's okay. Sister, I have to go. I have a lot to do at the office. I, I, I just came. I, I, I didn't know it was because of this, this old fools. Eh? I imagine my busy brother trying to build my husband's Company up and they are here accusing thunder. My dear, it's okay. Sister, don't worry. It's all right. Just take good care of yourself. Okay, sister. All right, I'll call you back. Um, princess, to what do I owe this visit? Okay, so I actually came to let you know that I'll be going back to school. Let's say next tomorrow. All right, that's good. So I'll be needing some money. <sighs> some money? Mm -hmm. And how much are we talking about here? Let's say like 500,000 naira onward for me to manage. 500 what? 1,000 naira. For what exactly? What do you mean for what exactly? I just mentioned now that I'm going back to school. So I definitely need the money for my daily runnings, logistics, like feeding, transport. I mean, like, literally, logistics. You want to go back to school with 500,000 naira? Are you planning on feeding the entire school or what? What do you mean? Times are hard. Very hard. We're all trying to manage. Well, it's all right. Let me um, see what I can do. So you can go back to school and study. All right. Yeah. Make do with that one. What is this? Money, of course. A hundred thousand naira. Yeah. And what am I supposed to do with this? Go back to school. This cannot take me back to school, clearly. Because this cannot even... 
buy me my flight ticket back. I mean, so what am I going to be doing with 100,000 naira? And who told you you're going back to school with it? For the flight? I beg your pardon? Yes. When I was your age, I don't take flights. I take buses. Use this money, go out there, buy a bus ticket. All right? I'm sure it will take you back to school. I am lost. Mm. All right? I am not here to beg you for money. <laughs> I'm not begging you. I'm asking you to give me some money from my father's company. Have you forgotten where you are? This is my father's company, all right? Besides, my father doesn't even give me anything less than a millionaire for weekends. So I'm only asking you for 500,000 naira because I'm sensitive to the fact that things are hard. Or might be like you are saying. So, and you, you're giving me 100k like I'm some charity case you're trying to help. I don't get it. I don't. I don't want to disrespect you, but this cannot work. Well, this is your father's company. You're right. But your father is no more. I run this company now, okay? And right now, the company has committed money into so many federal and state contracts. So you see, we don't have any money left. Learn to manage. Cut your coat according to your size. That's what everybody's doing now. So manage that money. I'm sure it can take you back to school. There's no way I'm touching this money. Thanks for the insult. All right, I am not a charity case. So I thought I'd just keep my money. Right. Mom, I really don't understand what is going on anymore. I don't understand. Hmm. You mean you went to Frank's office and begged him? For 500,000, and he couldn't even give it to you. He clearly didn't. He handed me over 100,000 naira, asking me to um, go by night bus when I complained that the money was not sufficient enough for my flight ticket. He even said uh, when he was my age, he wasn't flying, he was going by road, that I should go by road. Mommy, can you imagine? You needed to have been there to listen to how he talked to me, as if I came to beg him, as if I'm one charity case. That's my father's company, it's my father's money we're talking about. Ever since daddy died, it's been so impossible to get money from that office. I'm struggling. And yet my father has so much, left so much behind. My brother said you should go by night, boss. My own child. It's all right. Nah, don't worry about anything. I'll go and look for that money and complete it for you. I didn't take the money, mommy. I left the 100k on his office desk. You left it there? Mm hmm And he didn't call you back? No, he didn't. The moment I dropped it, he said, oh, thank you, and kept it to himself. It's all right. I'll go and find out why Frank is behaving like this now to my own child. Hello, bank manager. Yes, good day. Uh, all is well, thank you, and work. Please, there is something very important I would like you to do for me now. Yeah, I just uh, need some cash because um, I would like to dispatch some to my daughter. Yeah, she's doing very well. Uh, she's about going back to school. So please, uh, from my husband's... Uh, company's account I want you to withdraw like a million naira transfer to me in my own private account yes one million naira please hmm? no I didn't get that what my brother Frank withdrew 4.6 billion. 
Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When was that, please? Ha! All right, no problem. Thank you for telling me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, no problem. Just uh, transfer one million naira to my own account. And uh, I would like you to print out the statement of account. My husband's company statement of account. I beg your pardon. No need of printing out the statement. How much is the balance, please? Hold on, did you say 50 billion or? 50,000 Naira? In company's account? Manager, you can't be serious. 50,000 Naira? Okay, I'll call you. Is he all right? My husband's company's account, 50,000 naira. And my brother withdrew 4.6 billion. Hey! Be careful, the king is in trouble. Just for this one, you bash into my office looking so angry. What did you do with the large amount of money you removed from the company's account? What? Is that why you're looking so pissed? Come on, sister. Sit down, let's talk about that. Frank, that's not an answer to my question. Well, the answer is simple. I use the money for business. And what kind of business is that? Contracts. The only business this company knows how to do best. I told you earlier we have lots of contracts to execute, both federal and state. Right now, we're about to complete the biggest contract ever of all. 160 duplexes? Oh, yes. We're almost done with that. After which, we'll go into um, the state contract. Hold on, Frank. All these things that you just mentioned here now, how much are we looking at? 11 billion naira. Now, how do you like the sound of that? Hold on. You mean 11 million? I said 11 billion. 11 billion? Exactly. So you see, I've been very busy. Frank, that's huge. Of course, it has to be huge. I'm involved. Are you serious? Very serious. Mm -hmm. Gracious God. Are you for real? Of course, I'm for real. No, that's nice. Oh. I love it. I know. Good, I'm, I'm happier now. I mean, a bit relieved, you know. Of course. But then again, when will you finish the contract? And where will they pay this money? Because I would not lie to you, my brother. My children and I are hungry. No, that's, that's not going to happen. Your children cannot be hungry. You cannot be hungry. Well, the thing that is in six weeks, the federal government is going to release the first money. Ordinary six weeks? Yes. So in six weeks, this company is going to get paid. Wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm happy. Thank you, Frank. Thank You're you. You're welcome. So where is um accountant? Please, help me tell him to pay in some money into my daughter's account. She seriously needs some money to sort out some things in the school. That's all right. I'll instruct him to do that right away. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. You see, everything I'm doing is for the betterment of this company. At the end of the day, I will make you proud. Please. 
I can't wait. Okay. Honestly, I can't. You have to. I should be on my way now, Frank. It's all right, sister. Take care of yourself. All right, don't forget to tell accountants what I told you. It's very important. I'll do just that. Have a good day, sis. You too. All right, then. Take care. Take care, sister. Bye. Your Majesty, I have decided to come and see you and to let you know that there is a problem. Nobody knows what is going on in Ken in the company. Everybody is complaining. Your brother Frank has pushed everybody behind and doing everything in his own likeness. Nobody understands everything. And if you try to approach him or to ask him one or two questions, he will show you and proudly say that he is in charge. I mean, you said nobody understands anything, right? Exactly. Just like I'm not understanding anything you're saying here. You haven't made any point yet. You are Majesty. All I'm saying is this. Your brother is now building houses of his own at every corner of this city. Why the company's fortune is going down day by day. Nobody understands everything. Nobody understands everything. He's now running the company as one man show. We the employers. Nobody knows what he's doing. Nobody. Many staff have resigned because he's no, he, he's no longer paying them. So I decided to come and let you know. Admin manager. Your Majesty. I know your type too well. Your type is a type that goes about spreading false rumors about people, about innocent people, to be precise. I know your type. Can you stop? All that my brother is doing in my husband's company, I am aware of it. So stop this gossip. You are too big for this. Um, Don't you think so? Your Majesty, I'm sorry. Since, since you know everything your brother is doing, what of the unpaid salaries? Are you insane? Get out. It's okay. It will never happen again. It's okay. Your Majesty, it will never happen again. It's okay. Sister. You're here. You sent for me. Of course. Enough! Enough! Please go to the backyard and sweep that place first. Frank. Yes, sister. I'm not really happy. What happened? Somebody just left here now. The person brought a report against you. The person came to tell me that you have not been doing anything in the company. That in fact, you almost shut all the staff up and kept them in one corner. In fact, almost locked them up in one corner. In other words, what he's trying to say is you do everything on your own. You're leaving them in the dark. How? Then I'm not asking why, if that's what you did. And he didn't stop there, he said, that all you do now is to buy houses. What? That you have refused to pay the staff their salaries. You buy cars, and I'm like, whose car is this? Well, that's my friend's car. My car developed a fault, so I had to pack it at the mechanic and borrow his to run errands today. For real? For who's real? this person that has been telling you this kind of thing? I, I don't understand. 
The same staff I increased their salaries without informing you first? Why would I go building a house without telling you, my darling sister, first? How? Hold on. The only salary I owe those staffs is that of this month. And the month is not over yet. Of course. So what are you talking about? Hold on, oh, hold on. Let me get it. You even increased their salary. Yes, I did. Without even telling me. <sighs> when you're trying to be nice to them, yet this person had the nerve to come and gossip my brother to me. He's even insane. Sister, who's this person that told you this rubbish? I need to know who this person is, so I can know who to avoid in that office. Well, let me not lie to you. It's the admin manager, Obiora. Obiora? Of course, Obiora. He just left here. The same fool that came to my office three days ago to beg for a loan to start a building project in his village. And I told him the company didn't have that kind of money to spend at the time. That should hold on so I can think about it and then, then you know, know when to, 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 to give him a loan. Maybe next month. Hope you had the guts to come tell you this. Oh, he wants a loan to start up a house? Huh. You refused? Yes, I so refused. So that you can increase the capital, I mean the company's money. So that's the reason he got angry. So that's the reason Obiora came to gossip my brother to me. So I know for the way that we are, this, this person would have caused problem between both of us. But it's not possible now. That's the reason I called you first to ask you. Ah. People are it's so a, mean. It's all right, Frank. It's all right. Ah. This, this, this is crazy. It's all right. Just come in. Let me give you something to eat. I prepared a very good food. No, don't worry about that, sister. I'll eat. Maybe I'll come back in the evening to eat. Right now, I have a lot of errands to, 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 you know, to tackle. All right? Wow. Yeah, I need to work. Mm -hmm. So I'll see you maybe in the evening, okay? Be very careful. Yes, I will. I will. Especially with the car. It's not yours. I but will. It, it really suits you. <laughs> it's, I mean... I will, but it's not my turn to drive this kind of car. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You're trying to build the capital. Yeah. All right, I'll see you later. All right, all right. Frank, you sent for me. Yes. That's right. What is that? Means you now have enough time to do your gossip. Oh, Mr. Frank, you know that I do not do anything to deserve this. Mm. I put all my best in this company mm. to make sure that this company is booming. Mm. And you have the God to terminate my appointment in this company. Mm. Mm. Anyway. I will leave, but I will remind you of today. It's just a promise. For I'm doing this, you must regret it. I'm waiting for that one day. May God bless you. Amen. Bye bye. We have gathered here today to pay libation and respect to our king. Hmm. 
you work letters. I could be a revered king of our kingdom who was brutally murdered by mm. unknown government. Mm. We have come to seek revenge. Yes, sir. We have come to demand that you retaliate. Yes, that's what we Bring them to a book. That's what we and let, me, let them be disgraced. Yes, Fish them out and punish them accordingly. Yes, sir. We are in Asio. Kaine ekbe ekbe ra kaine ekusio. No matter where they run to, fish them out. Taha and Bosion. You talk about Gadi. I now see anywhere they run to, they are in trouble. Oga do to a Bosioke. Do to a Bosioria. Can't you embossy off? He said, he said. Bossy on one, okay, on the highest level. He said, he said. No peace, no rest. He said, he Until they come out. He said. They must be brought to book. He said. And punished accordingly. Ghosts of our ancestors. Everything we say today, you will, we will have your backing. Back. And so be it. May their parts be filled with tongues. He said. He said. Die! May their night falls in daytime. He said, and may they suffer the recompense of their wickedness. And by this usher, let them become a taboo to human race. Anywhere they are, one by one. Mbosi eke, mbosi orie, mbosi avo, mbosi unkwa, I know, but you know, I know, I know, I I've been talking to you, asking you questions, yet you're not answering. Why are you frowning? What's the matter, princess? Hmm? My darling, what is it? Mom, it's your brother. It's Frank. Frank refused to give me the money. Of course, that is after insulting me and telling me his usual stories of contracts here and there. He insulted you? He did. Well, I'm sorry, but um, I want you to understand that Frank doesn't have money for now. Of course, he invested you know, in one contract and, uh, well, all I'm trying to say, there is no money for now, but very soon we'll be fine. Mom, what has come over you? What is going on? Why do you believe him so much so that you, you just believe there's a contract somewhere and money's waiting to be collected? Is it because he's your brother? He tells you all these lies and then you just take everything. Mommy, can't you see? Can't you see that there's no contract anywhere? I mean, this very contract he's using as an excuse was the same contract father was doing while he was alive and the family was fine. There was no excuse like this. Mommy, there is no contract anywhere. He's lying. How can you say your brother is lying? Your uncle can be lying. Of course, there is contract somewhere. The only thing is for us to be a little bit patient with him, that's all. Just relax a bit. Please, that's all I'm saying. Frank is really trying, you know. But just that you're not seeing it. Now listen. When the federal government pays in this 11.9 billion, <laughs> you know that money is huge, it's large, it's not here. When the money comes, we'll be fine. So just relax, please. Mommy, you surprised me. How? Okay, how am I supposed to go back to school? What am I going to do? Where's the money going to come from? Because I do not even have any money in my savings. Listen, I promise you, you'll go back to school. I mean, even if it means me going to ask for loan from somebody, I, I, I don't mind. 
Yes, but you will go back to school. Mom, do you know who you are? Do you know who you are, mommy? You want to go out there seeking for a loan? Mommy, why are you refusing to understand the fact that this brother of yours is nothing but a scam? He's a scammer, mommy. There is no money anywhere. No, now. You can say anything you want to say. But I will not condone you calling my brother names. Your uncle is not a scammer. Please. Come on now, we know too well how I was begging Frank to come and occupy this position, yet he refused. You know how long it took me to convince him. He reluctantly agreed. And now, you are here in front of me calling him a scammer. Ah, I thought you better, sweetheart. Please delete such a thing from your mind. He's not and will never be. Please. Mom, I sincerely hope that by the time you realize this, it's not too late. My love, I call you out here to appreciate you for everything. Especially for your patience with me all through my times of struggle. Baby. I know I've been through a lot. And you were there with me all through the hard times. Hmm? And so I brought you out here to let you know that I'm happy. I'm happy you stood by me. I would love you to check your phone to see. Check my phone? Yeah, check your phone. I sent a token to you. Jesus Christ. Wait, 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 wait. Baby, <laughs> you're kidding, right? No, I'm not. It's this is one, one, one million naira. Yes, I sent you one million naira. You deserve it. And even more. And trust me, from where this is coming, there are more. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you too. Love you. So, this is cheers to um, a new beginning. To us. To us forever. I love you. Love you too. Oh my god. Jeez. Princess. Mom. Have this. That's 300,000 naira. Please manage it. Go back to school. By the time you return, I must have arranged for more money for you. But please, for now, use this one wisely. You know how things are. And where did you get this? Did your brother eventually give you money or you, you borrowed it? Of course I borrowed it. What? Mom, so you mean you went ahead to borrow money, despite all I told you? No, no, no. There's no way I'm keeping this. No. Take but it back. I don't understand. I can't have it. Why not? How are you going to cope? You don't even have feeding money. You don't have transport fare. So how will you cope in school? I'll manage. I'll manage. I'll manage the little that I have. Um, I think I'll go by road, at least. That's, you know, take care of that transport part. Why? Why? I mean, how can I sit and watch my little daughter suffer like this, traveling by road? God. 
I wonder why this federal government doesn't want to release this money for us. Let him at least try and release this money. Knowing how much Frank invested in this contract, it's not a small money. And he's successful. It's just left for the federal government to reciprocate by, you know, giving us back this huge amount of money for this family at least to be happy again. But I'm not even asking them to pay that amount. All I'm saying, let them give us little, at least for us to solve problems in this family. I don't mind. Well, I think I know what to do. Princess, mm -hmm. I think I have to sell one of your father's cats. Of course, for us to survive. That's a joke, right? How do you mean? Mom, you can't possibly be thinking of selling daddy's cars. It's barely six months daddy died and you're here contemplating on selling his property. <laughs> Please, mommy, that is way too early. All right? This shouldn't even come up at all. It's not possible. You can't do that. I understand, but it's just for us to survive. Your dad is dead already. Mom, it's not proper. Okay, you can't. I think, given the circumstance, the best thing to do is for me to sell off my own car. I mean, that sounds a bit fair. I mean, what's the point driving a car in school when I have all of these issues? I think I should sell my car. I will sell my car. Sell my car. That's the best. That's the best thing to do. Um, what is going on? What are you doing walking along the road? I sighted you from afar. Aren't you supposed to be at work? It's work hour. You mean office work? Yes. Uh, I'm no longer working in your father's company. You, you resigned? No. Your uncle, Frank, sacked me. What? Because I came to your house and told your mother everything that has been happening in that company. How Frank is running that company down. You diverting did? every company's contract to himself. Building his own personal houses with company's money. Seized sal worker salary for complete full news. But see, your mother did not listen to me. He just shouted at me and chased me out of the house. He, she later told Frank what I said. And Frank sacked me. So Since then, I've been working under the sun, under the rain. Looking for a job. Oh my god. 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 So you mean you, you told my mother all of this <laughs> and it's ended with sack instead? My princess, the story did not end there. The first day Frank resumed work in the company yes? as the managing director, he sacked Mr. Johnson. Because no. Mr. Johnson told your father every fraud he is committing in that company. That's as I speak with you now. Mr. Johnson is also searching for a job. For real? <laughs> Wait business. a minute. All of this is going on in my father's company and nobody told me about it. So Frank becoming the managing director of my father's company is just to make a mess of my father's legacy over the years and turn the company upside down? Yes, my princess. Oh my God. Um, where can I find um, Mr. Johnson? Mr. Johnson. Yes, where can I find him? Do you know where I can find him? Yes, yes. You do? Yes. Is it possible that you take me there? Why not? Please, 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 if you don't mind, oh, let's go. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. My princess, I would so appreciate it if you and your mother can do everything you can to stop Frank's excesses in running that company. 
Because if nothing is done in the next three months, Frank is going to liquidate that company. He's evil. He has no interest of you, your mother, nor the company's at heart. Um, please, if I take you to my mom, will you be able to repeat this before her? I mean, so that at least she can hear this from you directly. Oh, well, why not? My princess, I'm ready to tell your mother everything I have not even told you yet. And if she doubts it, let her very far from the other stuff. In that case, what are we waiting for? Please, can you just come with me already? Let's go. Please, thank you so much. Please get in. Mom, I just want to beg you to calm down and listen to what they have to tell you. Please. Listen to which people, if I may ask. I'm asking you, which people? You mean these two? These animals that you brought from the zoo. To do what? Hmm? I'm asking you. What have you come to do? Is it not to gossip? That's all they are good at. Mom. If you mom me, one more word. I'm asking you. You came, right? To gossip Frank. Frank, Frank, Frank all the time. A young boy you can give back to. You should be ashamed of yourself. Just take a look at you. Why? Because it's... Hey! I'm not done. You, Obiora. The other time you came to my house, what did you come to do? If I may ask, gossip. Instead of you to tell me that you want or you wanted my brother to give you a loan for you to go get married, then build a house. The young man that is hard working refused because he's trying to build my late husband's company. That's the reason you hated him so much. Ooh. And you? I'm talking to you, you animals, you. You in particular, now you listen to me. Look at me when I'm talking to you. You in particular. Were you not the one who framed my brother up in front of my husband and my husband sat him? Why? Because you were eyeing his position. The position did you get? No, you didn't. So why can't you let Frank be? No, you cannot. Now you listen to me. On the count of three, if you two idiots don't leave this place, you will regret it when I return. Mom. And you! Yes, Mom. Princess. Mom. I am ashamed of you. Bringing these two animals. Does this place look like zoo to you? Now you better return them where you brought them from. Else, you will not like what I will do to you, you and you. I'm still counting. Um, I'm, 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 I'm really sorry. Sorry for this embarrassment. All right, this was unintended. I'm sorry. It's my fault. Um, so I just want to beg you to go for now. I mean, just give me some time to talk to my mom. You know this whole revelation right now from your mother, it's so shocking to me. Not just me alone here, including Obiora. But it's all right, my princess. Sincerely, the fault is not yours. But I know time shall come when your mother will come to understand us and what has been playing out here. Can you imagine? But I will just pray that it will never be too late when that time will come. Can you imagine? Hey, Josie, can you imagine? Frank lied against me that I asked him for loan to build a house and get married. Second wife or third wife? Try! Anyway, I will not be It's alright, my princess. Yes. I'm so sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Really sorry. Please just blame it on me, okay? I take full responsibility for all this.
my dear I'm fine and I'm not fine I have body pain so I have a headache and that's because I came by road so I'm really stressed oh, I'm so sorry it's okay sorry no it's fine just that my body hurts by road mm -hmm. why you missed your flight or there was no flight mm -hmm. my sister I really miss my flight though. There was actually no money to buy a ticket. My uncle refused to give me money. I'm talking about my dad's money, not his. Of course. <laughs> so he didn't give me money for tickets, not even money for school. So I had to manage the little that I have. So I came by road. Did you talk to your mom about it? What did she say? She... She confronted him. You know. But of course he came up with the usual story of... You know, his money's been stuck with the federal government <laughs> for the contracts he executed. And my mom believed him anyways. But I don't. Right now, I... I'm just praying to God to help me skill through with my education because I cannot wait to take over my father's company because that's about the first thing I'm going to do as soon as I'm done with my studies. So somehow I, I just have to find a way through all of this. Yeah. Oh, um, this is really bad. Sorry. No, it's it's fine. So, what's up with you? What about you? Why? I'm sorry, my my mood kind of dampened your excitement. What's the excitement about? What's the good news? <sighs> Praise things. I'm what so happy. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know how to say it. Okay. <clears throat> Are you ready for the gist? Of course. <laughs> Dates me. What's good? F K, my boyfriend. I went to see him. You mean the same FK you've been telling me about, okay. or a brand new one? The same FK I have been telling you about. My boyfriend is now a bean on here. <laughs> Babe, FK gave me one million naira. Also gave me money to book my flight. Ticket. Wait. <laughs> the same FK who doesn't give you transport fare? I'm telling you. Gave you a millionaire. A millionaire. And booked you a flight. My goodness. I can't, can you imagine this? Oh, wow. I hope I'm not dreaming. No, of course you're not. <laughs> Listen, you deserve this and more, darling. Thank you. I mean, your, your patience is paying off. Thank you. I'm too. happy for you. Thank you for all you do for me. Come on. So. Wow. Should I say congratulations? So, I don't know. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Sorry about my mood, of course. I was already in this mood before you came in. I it has nothing to do with what you're saying. But trust me, I'm happy for you, my darling. I am. I know you are. Wow. So, hmm. let me now surprise you, my best friend. With what? Well, then you will see. <laughs> wow. Check your phone. I just sent you 400,000 naira. Please. Stop it. You just have to manage it. Okay? At least you can Wait. get yourself some things. You, you sent me for... It's nothing 400,000? Mm-hmm. Of course it's something. Do you know what this money can do for me in my present state? Oh, please. <laughs> this is a... This is a lot. Is not a lot compared to My what you have been doing for me. Goodness. <laughs> You're happy? I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm, I'm in total shock. You don't have to say anything. Esther, you have been doing more than this for me. Come on. <sighs> Forget about your uncle, okay? Mr. Whenever you need anything, come to make me cry. Anytime you need anything, now that my boyfriend you. is rich, Thank just you so call much. me. <laughs> You don't know what it means. It's a good person that gives, not a rich person. 
Do you forgive okay, because you have good hearts? You are good. I don't want to cry. Don't think about your uncle anymore. Thank you. <laughs> Pray, baby. Oh. Oh. You know I love you. Thank you. <laughs> don't cry, don't cry. You are you so crying? Well. Oh, I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> Alright, just come. Easy. Alright, one step down. Another step down. Yeah. Babe. Yep. What's going on? Alright, I I want you to guess. What's going on? You know I can't guess. Come on, you can guess. Try something. I can't. Stop keeping me in suspense. Okay. I will not keep you in suspense anymore. What's going on? I'll just untie your blindfold so you get to see what I have for you. There you go. Ah. <clears throat> <laughs> 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 it's all yours. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> of course, go ahead. It's your car. <laughs> Thank you. I love you too. Go ahead and spin your car. Come on. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Do something. Start your car. You try, you can try. Hmm? Break down? Yes, break down. Okay. Ignition. Ooh. There you go. Hold on. This is not your car. Whose car is this? I mean, now the latest car owner in town. How? I'm not kidding. This is my car. So how, how did you get this car? If they gifted me a car, that's all right. Get away. What? Go in, go in. Like, are you serious? Take me round town. I think we should have a dinner. dinner maybe, right? yes, maybe something. Can I just change so you take me yeah, out in your new car, car, please? By the way, my God! <laughs> I can't believe you're driving like this good. When did you even learn how to drive? Because you and I know that before now, you couldn't even. You know, start a car. Jesus Christ. What was Jesus Christ about Say that? Say insult. Wait, my princess. You did try insult me. Are you pretending? <laughs> <laughs> I know oh, yeah. you cannot even pretend with me because I know you better than yourself. All right? How are you so sure? Mm -hmm. Can you start telling me who thought you had to drive? Well, 
God, I was that for <laughs> self. <laughs> No, but it's okay. The most important thing is you're so from? perfect. Your 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 grip mm -hmm. is very strong. Mm -hmm. At least I'm safe in your car. We're not going to climb a pole before you leave here. Oh man! Scared, okay? I got you covered. I know. I can see the confidence. I'm so happy. You. I'm so. Happy. Don't worry. I'm happier for you, my love. Ah, okay. I am. Okay. Okay. Surprised me, you. Mm. I can't even believe that. Okay. Like, he just bought this car and dashed you. <laughs> I swear, he blindfolded me. He said, Come, I have something for you. I was like, What? One good thought is a proposal. Hmm. I think that's the first thing that will come, come to my mind. I Didn't you at some point think he was, you know, trying to propose? No, like. What were you thinking thing. in your mind when you were blindfolded? In my mind, I was like, Where is this guy taking me to? Where is he taking me to? My God. Oh. What's so, about. This FK of yours, I don't know. Are you sure this is for real? Do you are you sure of him? Of course, I'm very sure. Very, very sure. Hundred percent. He's caring. I mean, he's every woman's dream. Huh. I'm lucky. Can't wait to meet him though. Sure you will. Will you travel with me? Please. Since you're going home, let's go together. Oh, so, okay. FK will see you. So, are you sure you can drive us safe home? <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, 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 fly my you fly. You'll be princess. <laughs> I'm just respecting you because you'll be princess. Please. Don't insult me. No, I'm just saying, Abby. Just in case, so mm. are you sure this driving you're driving without oh, yeah, us be in town? And drive. Come and drive. No, but it's actually going to be fun for us to do like a road trip. Yeah, like girls' road trip. Yeah, it's gonna be with good. loud music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How did you know? <laughs> it's been a long time I did that, so I don't mind. Uh, and at least that would also avail me the opportunity to to you know to meet him. Mm. Same day. Same Ooh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Me too. Thank you so much for everything. For what? Thank you for always being there for me, oh. caring for me, a girl with that father and mother. It's okay, now you want to make mm. me cry. You're not my mother, you're not my father, oh. you're not my sister, okay. my brother, my everything. Yeah, and FK. And I'm happy there's FK now in your life who's taking care of you. No, 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 no. no. FK body. is there, but you, you mean a lot to me. Oh, no, no, I can't trend you for anything. That's so sweet. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Love you. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to my boyfriend's house. Of course. These two plus the one you drove out with. Sorry, is he renting or he bought? I mean the house. Is he renting? Renting, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> he owns the house. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you shocked? I am. I told you he's well, a you know big what? guy. I'm so happy, like, so happy for you. I know. Goodness. Thank you. Please go. Thank you. Hi, my princess. Mm. Goodness, I can't believe that this is your place. Yeah, this is my home to be. Girl, you're living in heaven. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Make yourself comfortable, okay? I'll be right back.
Um, are you okay? Yes, I am fine. Is is this FK? Yeah, that's my guy. Huh? The sweetheart I've been telling you about. <laughs> He's cute, right? Are you okay? Mm -hmm. uh, not at all. I'm just. I mean, he's so cute. Yeah, come on, see. Goodness. Oh, so this is the guy you've been talking about? Mm -hmm. It's the one. Unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you. I have known FK all, I mean, I've been hearing of his name all my life. <laughs> I never thought he was going to be this cute. He's cute, right? Are you asking me? My goodness, that's my guy. I love you so much. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. I feel like you're living in heaven. Of course. How did you know that? <laughs> you sure you're okay? You're all right. I am. I'm, uh, gosh, I'm just, I'm just being, um, just a little worried about you. There's this unrest I feel inside. Worried about me? Yes, I mean, this your FK guy, considering how young, rich, and handsome he is. You know, I, I mean, he's been taking care of you, doing practically everything for you, including buying you a car. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's a future here? I don't understand. I mean, I don't want you to come crying. He looks like... Someone who's going to be a specialist in uh, breaking uh, hearts. Mm, 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 mm. Not my FK. Are you sure? This guy, uh -huh. he's everything to me. I love him so much. Like, I trust him. I mean, believe me. It's okay for you to love him, but how are you sure he loves you, like, right back? I know. How? See, he promised to be the house for me in the village. Hmm? He has done enough. He's cute, he's sincere. I mean, he's so real. Have you tried to put him to put him through some kind of tests to be sure that you're not gonna come crying? Test? Mm hmm <laughs> No. What do you mean no? I mean, if you're so sure that he loves you, I mean you can you can just try him. Nothing spoils if he passes the test. What kind of test? Listen, I'm just speaking as your friend, all right? Because I'm really, really worried. I wasn't this worried when I didn't, like, see him because I've never seen a picture of him before. You know, but seeing how he looks, <laughs> my dear, I can tell you that this guy <laughs> doesn't really love you as much as you love him. Uh -uh. I can oh, tell you for free. Oh, my princess, please don't go there. Not my FK. Okay, fine. If he loves you, then test him. Um, how about... How about you teasing him or tactically asking asking for his maybe asking him to show you his properties, maybe investments here and there? Because a guy will only do that if he's sure that you are going to be his wife. He won't do that with just a random girl. So if he doesn't, then you know that that man is not for you. Okay. Let mm -hmm. me bust your bubbles. I said the guy? Mm-hmm. FK? My boyfriend, yes. my love, my sweetheart. Mm -hmm. I know everything about him. About his documents. Everything. He doesn't hide anything from me. So there is no need of testing him. Liar. I'm serious. You know, I can tell you I can tell you lying. Me lying to mm -hmm. you. Like you know things about his properties, you know things about the documents everything. of his properties. Okay. Oh please. I will prove you wrong. Lies. Come with me to his room. So a guy as cute and rich and young as this will show you his investment in properties. You're not even his wife yet. That is to show you how much we trust each other. Come with me. Are you for real? Let's go to his room. I'll show you everything. You're serious, right? I'm serious. Your phone. Um. Mm. <laughs> wow. Let's go. Is it? Mm -hmm.
This file contains all the documents of my boyfriend's properties, both developed and undeveloped ones. For real? Mm -hmm. Just go through it. Are you serious? Yeah. Did you know that I didn't even believe it when you were... My goodness. <laughs> Look at this. I told you, these are lots. Yeah. You mean? Wow. Look, I, I am so happy for you. I don't even know what to say. You're happy I mean, now. of course, I am. <laughs> I know. Look. At least now, I can be rest assured that my girlfriend is in a safe hand. Hey, you can say that again. Put them back. <laughs> wow. I'm so happy that you're happy. Of course. This is so, so nice. Wait, let me help you. Let me help you. See. Okay. Whoa. Hmm. So, thank you so lucky. I'll be right back. This is unbelievable. You're convinced now? Un undoubtedly. Are you okay? Mm. I have a um, light headache. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Can I get you water? Okay. Water is fine. I'm coming. so much. You're welcome. Um, do you by any chance have a painkiller here to suppress it? Yeah, I think I have Panadol. Should I get you Panadol? Uh, no, no, I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm allergic to Panadols. I only take paracetamol. Is there a pharmacy next door? Yeah, very close. Please, maybe you can just get me paracetamol, please. Alright. Oh my goodness. Sure you're good. Mm. I'll be right back. Okay. I was actually waiting for you to come back. This took a while. I have to go. Go? So, um, I feel a bit sick. Um. Sorry. Thank you. Can I drop you off? Um, no, you don't have to. Let me just go home and take care of myself. I just thought of something. Meeting your boyfriend for the first time and him meeting me sick. Why not rest a little bit? No, I don't want to rest, you know. I don't want your boyfriend to meet me sick. And you know I've been meeting for the first time. First impression matters. That's not a good way to meet someone. Of course it matters. First impression matters, okay? Um, I'll be fine. Let me take you home. No, you don't have to. Stay back and cook for your man. You know you're almost a married woman now. Are you sure? And that's what makes a good woman. <laughs> cook for your husband to be. I'll just drive myself home. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Mm. I'll take this when I get home. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Let me help you. Mm -hmm. No, don't worry. Oh my God. Oh, I carry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Thank welcome. you. sick for the past two weeks and nobody told me. But, but, but why now? Are you serious? I'm sorry. Is Frank aware that you're not feeling too well? He's aware he couldn't even take you to the hospital. I beg your pardon. Buy medicine from pharmacy. Well, since you said you're getting better, it's all right. It's all right. In that case, I'll come and see you next week. All right. Chai. Mom, who was that? My father. Is he sick? Yes. Oh. He told me he's been down for the past two weeks. I'm not even aware. Oh my God. Though he said he's getting better. And from his voice, I think he's getting better. Whew, thank God. <sighs> Hold on. Are you done resting? Mm-hmm. Um, oh. I'm okay now, Mom. Okay. I'm fine. Mom? Mm -hmm. I would like to ask you. I'd love to ask you a question, if you don't mind. What is it about? When was the last time you heard from your brother, Frank? Yesterday. Okay. We spoke yesterday. Any problem? Any problem? Like seriously, you asking me that? Mom, it's obvious there's a problem. What's the latest updates? about the billions the government owes him. What's new? What's new is that he told me hmm. that they will be paying in middle of this month. That's what's new. And you believed him? Why would I not believe him? How else do I make you realize that this brother of yours is nothing but a scam, a fraudster, a very... If it, Come on, will you close your mouth? What is come over you? God have mercy. Do you realize the person you're calling names is my younger brother and your uncle? Are you insane? I mean, I remember when I gave birth to you. Frank was here. The way Frank carried you and everything. What is all this? I mean, I can't watch you sit in front of me and you're calling my brother names. No, stop! Please pull my legs, Joa. Your own is becoming too much. Listen, Divya, we came to ask you why Ogogo has not taken any action since the death of our Igwe. We came to lay the complaint concerning our Igwe's death. And you told us that Frank is responsible for the death of our Igwe. Yeah. But to our surprise, up till now, Frank is walking freely everywhere in the village. Eh? Everywhere in the village. Please, don't let us begin to think that uh, Ogogo is powerless. 
Let Ogugu take action immediately. Let there be result. And so that they will not think we elders are liars too. Yes, of course. The ways of the gods is different from the ways of we human. Ogugu, Ada, Rahola. You people should go home and allow Ogugu to go for your revenge. Now, both of you should leave my shrine. I have something to do. Thank you, Ezebi. <sighs> Thank you very much. Here, sir. These are all the documents, I mean original documents, of all the properties he bought with my father's company funds. This is good. This is good. With all these documents here, he'll be disgraced in court if we present our case well. But we need to convincingly establish a case of misappropriation and mismanagement of funds against him. Okay. In that case, let's head to court. First, we need to start disgracing him by getting him arrested, then take him to court where we will seize all the stolen funds from him, then kick him out. What are we waiting for? Let's start immediately. In that case, I have to call the commission of police to get him arrested. Okay, okay. Then I'll get back to you. That's, that's perfect. All right, so um, I'll just leave you to do all you have to do while I wait to get the feedback. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll be on my way now. No, don't mention, don't mention. All right, have a nice day, Barista. You're welcome. Frank. This one, you're sounding like this. I hope all is well. I can't hear you well. What? That what happened? How? My own daughter arrested you? What did you do to her? My goodness. Frank, which police station? And you're sure you didn't do anything to my daughter? She just arrested you. Are you serious? All right, Frank. I'm coming. Good afternoon, Mom. My brother just called me now, telling me that you arrested him. Why? I don't have anything to explain to you as regards that. I beg your pardon. What is that supposed to mean? You're not going to believe me, Mom. I mean, I don't have so much to explain to you about this useless and selfish brother of yours. What? Right before me, you call my brother names? You're not even afraid that Frank is your mom's younger brother. You had a nerve to arrest my young brother and you call him names before me. What did he do to you? Mom, like I said, I am not going to explain too much, okay? What is most important is the bottom line has been drawn. I am not backing down. I am going to deal with this brother of yours so much so that when he sees me coming from one end of the road, he's going to run into the bush. Keeping quiet, princess. I'm just respecting you because you're my daughter. I would have dealt with you my own way. Princess, you're pushing me.
What do you mean, what is it? I'm trying to open my door. Oh, I forgot, Princess. I don't could change the key. And what do you mean, Princess, that could change the keys? Did I tell her my keys are having issues? So I think you should see her and sort out things with her. And where is she? She's at the board meeting. That's where I'm coming from. And I could call the board meeting without my permission? What's the meaning of this? Why would he call for a board meeting without my permission? And why in God's name did you lock up my office? Did I just hear you say permission? I do not need permission from you to hold a board meeting. In case you've forgotten, this is my father's company. Alright? So, do I need permission from you? Of course not. So who are these people? That, please pardon my bad manners. These are the external auditors I brought in to audit the company's account so far, especially from the part where you became managing director. Since the accounts are not tallying. And gentlemen and lady, this is the acting hmm? managing director You're holding forth for me. You're welcome, sir. If you don't mind, who are stepping out so. Gentlemen. In, that, in that case, I would um, I would like them to come over to my office so I can hand them the accounts documents. Perfect. Then. It's okay. Perfect. So okay. you get the files. Yeah, please. Okay. Oh, please, let's. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I'm telling you, sister, she even went ahead and changed the key to my office. As you speak, I do not have access to my office. I wanted to break the door, but I decided to come and tell you so you can talk to her. I can't believe it. My daughter changed your office key? I'm telling you. Held a management meeting without your consent after taking you to the police station. My goodness! Is she insane? Mommy, she's definitely not insane. I am not insane. I mean, what have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? Oh, you think you can just come here and report to my mother? Is that going to save your sorry ass? I mean, what have I done wrong, mommy? Nothing! I just asked you to give accounts. Grant me access to my father's account and you, 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 you're reporting me to my mother? I'm, Mom, who is this man to stop me from vetting my father's account? That's my father's company. I told you, didn't I? I warned you. I told you a day like this will come where you will have to give account of everything you have done in that company and that day is now. Coming here to report me. Now will you shut up and listen? Are you insane? Can you imagine the way you raise and your voice at my brother? Just, your uncle! Just imagine. He was even there when I gave birth to you. Are you mad? I'm not. I'm not mad. I will not shut up. Yes, fine, if you want me to listen to you, I will listen to you because you're my mom. But. Mommy, can't you see? How else do I make you understand that this brother of yours is nothing but evil? He's evil! And I need you to see him for what he truly is. Sister, did you hear that? Did you hear Adaku call me evil? Adaku of yesterday. I can't believe this. Adaku, I clean her poo. I'm telling you. Call me evil right before you. Sister, I know how you begged me to take up this job. I know. I know how you begged me to come help you run this company. I refused, but you insisted. And now this. Adaku has the guts to call me evil. It's okay. You know what, sister? Right here, right now, I quit. Oh, no, I am not done. So fast. <laughs> no way. Come on, quit. <laughs> you can't just quit just like that. I mean, why are you running? Why? Of course you're going to quit, but not before you submit every account that has to do with my father's company. You think you're smart? You want to run away? I can see through you. You're going nowhere. Sister, I'm not going to stay here to exchange words mm. with this little girl. Oh, no. I'll not do that. No, come no, 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 come back. Come, come back. Come Frank. back. Why Frank. are you running? Anyway? Hey, come on with you. Keep quiet. Enough. Now go to your room. 
One, I say move to your room. Come on, will you? Goodness, God. Now what is all this? This is a joke, right? Huh? What is this? Mama, we, we, we tried our best. We... we... What nonsense is this? I mean, this is what I paid for. Is this? I don't get it. Oh! So you have been bought by that idiot. Huh? You have been bought to make a mess of your result, of your parents' money, sending you to school, to become something reasonable in life, and then you make a joke of your own profession. By handing me over this nonsense. Even the blind can see. I can see through your irregularities. Your fingers are not adding up. Are you, are you serious? Oh. You know what? Get the hell out of my office. What's Get out! Get the hell out. Get out! What the? You're so cheap. My God! For how much? I could even audit better than an auditor. What? My elders. That is the current situation. I am beyond grateful to my friend who made me realize all this. Thank God for her. Mm. Good one, my princess. Uh, what about the documents? I handed over all documents to the lawyer. He has them. Very thoughtful of you. Wonderful. And um, does your mother know about all these properties and cars? No, not a word. I didn't tell her anything. I haven't so far. <clears throat> My fellow elders, that little useless, fool and useless boy killed our ego. It shall be confirmed mm -hmm. by Oracle, Ogugu, and SMO. And since we have asked him to come and take an oath to prove his innocence, he refused. Since he refused, we have to go and see Ezemo. Tell him to visit him anywhere he is. Ichi, uh, Ichi, I think there's no need for that. Mm. You see, the last time we went to see is there more? Yes. <laughs> he told us not to bother ourselves. That Ogugu will do his own thing at his at the right time. But that will not stop us from going to Ogugu to tell Ezemo about the court case. To him to do something so that he will come out in shame. In shame. Yeah. Shame. Capital shame. He will definitely come out in shame. He's, who is he? Obonye. Obonye. Eh, uh, eh, 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 bandumo, eh, bandumo. Eh, bikonu, eh, that's it. We are, we have all spoken well about this matter. Mm. And then, um, at this juncture. Hmm. Ichi, eh, Chikwadu has spoken it all. Hmm? He said it all. We, the other, shall proceed straight to Ezemo. So that we brief him on the current situation of things and also hear some few instructions from him. Okay. Oh, no. We will not know which way to follow. Yeah, that's what Meanwhile, <laughs> our princess, yes. the pride of our kingdom. <laughs> exactly. We are so happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you <don't want> <laughs> princess. Ah, princess. Are you, are you once a CID? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, don't know her. Huh? <laughs>
as na bere de nyiri dike mara bere de ke jama dike nene akwa ru sange le kuru ngene ngo na ya kala ka na heli nguro okri kri ka na bugo si na ha li enu nko nya meta oburu as na obela bu ngbu enwe abula jo ogu hm alu po na fonde mo nko nya meta mi si e Isso. Ofam gaba na ekia. Isso. Ofam gaba na oye. Isso. Ofam gaba na afo. Isso. Ofam gaba na nko. Isso. Na fela no nizu na no. Isso. Ko ye meta ya weli si ebulo. Isso. For the past days, you have not been yourself. What's going on? Are you okay? Sit. That's nothing. You see, I have... Uh... I have a lot of work at the office to do and uh, it's overwhelming, you know. I sometimes forget about myself. It's just work, nothing more to it. I'll be fine. Hmm? Honey, are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Trust me. I am. Just that I'm worried. You don't need to. What the hell is that? What? What the hell is that? Huh? What's, what's what? that? Huh? What's it? Ah! My God! Ah! Oh my God! Oh my God! What is it? What is it? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Go, Go to Google Shrine, Shrine and confess to the people of Zinabo Kingdom how you killed the king. Else, you will be disgraced before the entire kingdom. I will go nowhere. You can do nothing! I am innocent! Frank, Frank, I need you to look at me. Stop pressing this your phone. I don't like what you're doing, Frank. Are you looking at me in such manner? Frank, I... Uh, listen. You know it's only you and I. Why would I be begging you for things? I have been calling you. Frank, I've been begging you for money, for you to assist my family. You know how things are for my children and I. Yet, you kept pushing me around like I don't even matter to you. Sister, I'm, I'm your help. Ish. I'm as worried as I am not finished. I'm a no good Jurugono, but chill. Now, what has come over you? It's only you and I, you. Eh, Frank? My husband died. Things are so tough for us. Please help me. Let me sort things out in this family. Please. Let me at least assist your cousins. You told me that the government is owing you billions of Naira. Of course. The question is, have they paid you? If yes, even if it's little, give your sister, please. And if no, when will they pay? Is it when we are dead? I am as worried as you are right now. The government has refused to pay me our money. 
They don't want to release this money to me. As we speak, it's just 3,000 Naira, 3K I have in my pocket to survive on. I'm even thinking of suing them or sending them to court. No, 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 no. So no, no, they can pay me no, my no, money. No, 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 no. I'm tired of the whole thing. No, no, no. Pick a one name. I don't want to lose you. How can you sue government? Please. Even if you sue them now, where's the money you will use to defend yourself in the court? Do you think it's easy? Is it the 3,000 in your pocket that you will use? It's okay. Don't worry. Please. It's okay. Well, another thing. What's going on between you and my daughter? Why are you two fighting? What's the matter? Eh? Why? I mean, is there anything that both of you are not telling me? Sister, it's the same matter. It's what all matter? about this money. This money that the government is owing me. The same issue. She has refused to understand. Because I am the one directly connected to the whole deal. That's why she's, she's, she's mad at me. For the wrong reason. Oh, I get it now. So that's the reason what of you are fighting all the time. Yes. I don't I don't understand. I, I, I mean, Princess should understand that my brother is not the government. I don't know. Please let me talk to her. Let me explain things to her so that she can understand. I will talk to her. Don't worry. Okay. Once she comes back, I will talk to her. But if she refuses to listen and still wants to carry the matter to court, relax, I will defend you. Sister, please defend me. Defend me. I, I don't want to die on time. This whole thing is, is, is driving me crazy. Now, who is talking about that? God forbid you will never die. Nothing will happen to you in Jesus' name. Amen. But the stress is too much on me now. Just try now. Try. Just try and ask the government. Eh? Try. Oh, Let them release the money. Sending messages. Oh, madam, sorry. I was checking something very important in someone else's case. That's right. Yeah. I can't remember meeting you before. So what brought you to my office? My name is Lolo Namaka. Of uh, Izinabo Kingdom. My late husband calls me. Obiagiliakuya. My late husband was... His Royal Majesty Cletus of his Inabu Kingdom, who just passed away. Your Lordship, I was supposed to be here with my younger brother called um, Mr. Frank Ubiako. But funny enough, he couldn't make it, so I decided to come see you, you know, just uh, to seek your help. You're welcome, Your Majesty. I was supposed to be in your late husband's last offer, but unfortunately, as a Dane, I was in London. Please oh. accept my condolence. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. And what can I do for you at this time? Okay, your lordship. Like, um, like I said earlier, I was supposed to be here with my brother Frank, but he couldn't make it, so I decided to come see you alone. Well, it's about my husband's business. When my husband passed away, I pleaded with my brother to come help me take over my husband's company, which he accepted. And my husband's business is known for executing contracts. So it then happened that my brother came in and took a large amount of money from my husband's company to secure the contract with the federal government. And this money we're talking about, yes, is in billions of Naira. Hmm. Billions of Naira. And up until now, we 
are not yet paid. We are still expecting the government to pay us. But it's as if it's not forthcoming. So, my daughter became angry and started suspecting a foul play, which I am not suspecting anything because I trust my brother. He will not do anything that will hurt me. So my daughter started threatening my younger brother that she's going to sue him if he doesn't return the company's money. So I'm begging my daughter, please, be patient. But she refused. Finally, she carried out her threat by, you know, uh, suing my brother. So the reason for me coming is that I am certain that this case will be, you know, called out in your own court. Mm -hmm. Which is why I'm here for you to at least help us. Please. Oh, so Mr. Frank, Obiako is your younger brother. Yes, please. Wow, impressive. He was actually here a few minutes ago, just before you came in. Frank was here? Yeah. He was here. And I actually wow. told them what to do. To squash the case, you know. Okay, you told him what to do to squash the case. Yeah. If I may ask, your lordship, what was the thing you told him? Very simple. It's nothing too big, too serious. It's, um, I only asked him to give me a sum of 50 million to be able to... 50 million? What? Yeah. Uh, comparing to what you're talking about here, the gravity of this matter is not something that, that uh, should be too much to offer. So, 50 million. 50 million? And, uh, please, your lordship, what was my brother's respond when you mentioned 50 million naira? Of course, you're obliged. You're obliged. Frank obliged? Yeah. All right. All right, then, your lordship, I'll be on my way now. That'll be fine, your majesty. Thank you for your time. Looking forward to hearing from you soon. You will. Hello? Princess, there's a situation at hand. Please, where are you? I'll make you to come to my office. No, this is not time for questions. I, I would rather see you in the office. Please. Okay. I'll be waiting. Hello, Frank. Frank, I don't understand what's going on. How can you promise the judge you're going to give him 50 million naira? I, I mean, I don't get it. How? When government is yet to pay the company the billions of naira they are owing us. No, no, no. My question is, how do you intend paying this judge that's 50 million naira now? Okay, Frank, listen, let me ask you a question. I mean, is there something that I'm supposed to know which you're not telling me? Because I don't understand. Yes, that's because I... Hello? Hello, Frank? Mom, why? Mommy, why? Why are you doing this? Why am I doing why? what? What? Like, seriously, you're acting like you don't know, right? No problem. One thing for sure, mommy, I am going to shock you. I'm going to surprise you. Now, what are you talking about? Mom, don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. You went to the judge's office to tell him to squash my case with your brother. You did that. That is not fair. Why? Listen, whether you like it or not, that wicked brother of yours is going to prison. And there's nothing you can do about it. It is a promise, mommy. 
Hold on. Who told you that? My lawyer called and told me everything. He did. We're all missing at the judge's office tomorrow, right? Mom, I can't wait for tomorrow to come. By the time we get to his office tomorrow and the revelation is unveiled before you, <laughs> you will be the one in a hurry to send that brother of yours to prison. Watch out. Princess. Princess, hold on. Princess. Princess. Madam, you were here yesterday pleading on behalf of your brother, you know, concerning the case that your daughter instituted against him. Even though I requested for some certain amount of money to be paid to me, I wasn't really comfortable after you left. I had to call my brother, Barrister Chooks, who happens to be my cousin, of course, and also the same person standing in for your daughter to bring the case files to me and also the documents. And of course he did. And having gone through it, I found out that your brother, Mr. Frank, has actually been a dubious person. I have documents here, which you may like to also go through. Yes. I will not be able to confirm the name, the others. It will surprise you to know that your brother Frank has properties worth millions of naira, not just any amount of money in hundreds of millions scattered all over Nigeria. Please take a look at the document and confirm the name on it, the address, and also the signature. I guess it reflects that of your brother. Not at all, Your Majesty. It will also surprise you to know that the said money you're talking about has been paid. Mm -hmm. And your brother mm -hmm. decided to play smart and fast one on you. But thank God. Thank God that the princess was smart enough and fast to dig him out. And to expose his various activities. Mm -hmm. I'm dumbfounded. Come on. This is unbelievable. Frank. Mm -hmm. House is scattered. Hmm. Hold on, your Are you sure? Somebody's not trying to frame my brother up. Your I just asked. Your Majesty, with all due respect, nobody's framing your brother up. This information without you bringing your mother in. Mom, I couldn't have brought you into it. Because if I, if I did, you would have told him. 
And that would have narrowed my chances. Besides, over time, mommy, I did everything I could to open your eyes to the fact that this brother of yours is nothing but evil. But did you believe me? You didn't. Frank, it's true you are my brother, but God will punish you for me. Mom, this is not going to end in court. Because as we speak, the elders are all waiting for him. Frank must have to take an oath as regards my father's sudden death. Because everyone is suspicious of him. Do I care? Let them do anything they wish to do. My brother is evil. I still can't believe it. Frank. The boy is wicked. Mommy. Can I shock you? I just hope that your heart can handle this. Will it be more than the one I witnessed in Judge's office? No, now. Okay. No, my heart is strong now. Mom, would you believe it if I say that Frank, your brother, has about 6.9 billion naira of that is money in one of his accounts that I just figured out. Are you for real? I am. 6.9 billion naira. 6.9 <laughs> billion. Yes, mom. In his account? Yes. Different account? Yes. It's a lie. Mom. It's a lie. How did you get to know this? God! Well, Mommy, not to worry. I have used court order to have the account blocked. So, of course, he cannot even transact from that account anymore. Moreover, this money, at the end of all this, is going to be reversed because if that is money. Are you sure? Mom, are you seriously asking me if I'm sure? <laughs> Mom, this is my profession. Or have you forgotten the daughter of who I am? Now, Mom, take a good look at me and tell me you are not proud of the daughter that you raised. <sighs> is there anything more than the word proud? God have mercy. Proud is an understatement. Believe me. I bless the day I give birth to you. I'm more than the word proud of you. And God will bless you. Amen. Frank, my brother. Mm -hmm. Can somebody wait? What type of a brother is this? He's not far from a prodigal son. He's wicked. So is extravagant. Living life is all he wants. Open the gate. Open the gate. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Who will be? Where is your boss? My boss come out. But um, my madam be inside. Please call her for us. Lock the gate. Madam! Love is so much in love with money. Money is what it takes so He's ready to kill for me. He's too greed and wicked. He's too greed and wicked. Money is not wicked. You don't care how it Excuse me. Yeah, good afternoon, ma'am. Excuse you. Who are you people? Mm, good day, ma'am. We are from the Federal High Court. Federal High Court? Yes, ma'am. Please, ma'am, we are given seven days to vacate from this house. As you can see, the gate is already locked. Yes. Okay, 
of that from this house, including the cars. Yes? Wait, um, are you sure you're talking about this house? Yes, madam. And here is our letter. Yep, ma Sorry, I think you're making a mistake. No, ma'am. Please, we are giving you seven days to move out of this house. Just like that? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. Please, can you? Please, open the gate. Seven days. Hey! Musa, what's your problem? Open the bloody gate. Two people came here this afternoon. They locked the gate, carry key, come out. They, they talked to Madame. I don't know what happened, Oga. Hey. Someone locked my gate? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But they talked to Madame inside. Where is she? She's there inside. He loves money to much. Money is your target. He don't care. Too great and weak is so much in love with money. Money is what he thinks so of. He's ready to kill for it. He's too great and weak. He's too great and weak. Money is not weak. He don't care how it goes. You're too great and weak. Money is what he thinks so of. He's ready to kill for it. He's too great and weak. What's he telling me? What's going on? I'm six. Huh? What happened? Sit down first, please. I need to know who sealed my gate. What's the meaning of this? I'm even surprised. What nonsense is this? I'm not owing anybody. I'm not owing any bank. So why would the court order me to pack out of my house within seven days without taking anything out of the house? Not even my cars. I don't know. I don't... I can't tell. Honey, please. I think you should go to their office and sort out things with them. Please. I'm not going anywhere. Honey? Honey, please listen to me. Baby! Darling. Yes, babe. You see, I've been trying so hard not to get you involved in the issues of my life. But right now, I have no other option but to get you fully involved. Okay, I'm listening. I've spoken to my insurance company. Spoken to my security personnel. Spoken to my lawyers. And now, it's just you who's left. And you're the closest person to me. You see, there are these documents I put in a bag and kept in my wardrobe. Somehow those documents left this house and landed in the hands of my enemies. How it happened, I don't know. So right here, right now, I'm asking you 
Do you have any idea how those documents left this house? Did your friends at any time come to my house and made away with my documents? No, I, I can't remember. None that I know of. Are you sure about this, Esther? Yes, babe, I'm, I'm sure. Um, yeah, I came here with a friend of mine, my best friend from school. So. And who's this your best friend? Princess. Princess Adako. She has been my best friend and my roommate. So, I invited her over to come to my man's house, my husband to be. So I showed her some of the documents so that she would know what my man has achieved in life. And she was so happy. She was very happy at the achievement. I brought her to the room, so I showed her. That's all. So it's been you. So it's been you all this while. Because of your reckless and stupid behavior, I lost all my documents. She... Can, can... I want you to go into this wardrobe now. Pack everything that belongs to you and get the hell out of my house before I commit murder. Then what are you talking about? Get the hell out of my house! Now! Do you know Princess Adako? You're still there. <laughs> He's not far from a prodigal son He's wicked So extravagant Living life is all he wants Manager Yes, I'm coming to your office right now I need some cash What do you mean I can't get any cash? And who gives such orders on my account? Manager, prepare some money for me. What do you mean by that? Hello? Hello? Eh? What happens to my 6.9 billion? You mean it's you? Don't go like that. He's ready to kill for us. He's too greedy and wicked. I'm going to kill somebody. Hope if you break us soon, why are you this wicked? On your in love. It's my freaking money. Because of you. I work so hard for it. No more peace. No more joy the palace You are brought Mommy, that was what happened I had to leave He's not talking to himself Acting like someone that is getting mad already Acting like someone that is getting mad hmm. He hasn't seen anything yet this is just the beginning. He's actually going to run mad. I mean like mad for real, in real life. He's going to run mad. Rubbish. Hmm. Esther. Mommy. I want to say a very big thank you to you for making me realize who my brother is. The true Frank, the evil Frank. You and my daughter made me realize that Frank is evil. Honestly. I mean, my daughter tried warning me, but, you know, brother's love, I never believed it. But when you came in, you made it easier. I will reward you handsomely for this, I promise. <laughs> um, Mom, 
Yes, darling. Please, can I, can I ask for a favor? Yeah, go on. What? Can Esther, can Esther live here with us for a while? I mean, she's job hunting and she really doesn't have anywhere else to go. Uh, mommy, I, I didn't tell you. She's actually an orphan. She doesn't Esther? Yes. An orphan? Mm -hmm. Yes, mommy. She is. You don't even need to ask this. Come on. You're welcome to my family. I have adopted you as my own daughter. That's my mother for you. Don't do that. <laughs> Come on, will you get up? Please. Get up, get up sweetheart. Mommy, thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you too. It's all right. Mommy, thank you. That's my mother for you. She's very kind. She's so sweet. I know. Like you. <laughs> Mommy, thank you so much. Thank it's you. Beautiful. Like I told you, I want you to eliminate all of them. My sister, her daughter, and even her son, uh, I, he, he, he should be there with them. And also uh, my, my, my ex-girlfriend, Esther. She started living there. I'm not going to watch these people take away what I labored for all my life. My money, my properties, no. Um, Baba, I don't hear everything where you talk. And I don't hear how you want to make you be. Yes. No shaking. You know. My problem now, I'll be say. The money you give us the last time, unless I just give you testing. You understand? So you could tell me how much you go give me. This is not a big job where they go package. It's in the sub. Bro, I'm going to give you enough money. In short, I'm going to give you double of what I gave you the last time. Ah, yes. Not like that. Yes. I'm not shaking. I go package her. You know to go tea now. Yes. You know I how the thing they be. I believe you, bro. So no worry yourself. I believe you, man. I go run them and it go be mm -hmm. clean deal. Yes, yes. Go worry yourself. He bounce. Okay. Forget no the rest. We had his cause. All right. Thank you very much. You bounce. Thank, no you, thank you. Thank you. Thank eh? you. Thank you. All I'm asking is for you to reinstate the old staff, the very good ones your brother laid off. You and I know that he laid them off out of his selfish interest because they were trying to hold him accountable and he didn't want that. Mm -hmm. At this point, in this company, I think bringing them back with us a lot of good. There is sense in what you said. You're absolutely right, but then, how do we get them? We don't have their contacts. Mom, I have their contacts. You do? <laughs> I have stayed in touch with them. Call them right away. Come on. Good. I'm going to call them. Ah. That was What's a knock. That? I don't know. That was a knock, right? I, I don't. The person is persistent. What? And why is the person? Wait, where is. Do they want to break down the gate? Are the guards all sleeping or something? No. Person, yes. That's not you. You heard you it? Late. No. Yes. So I'm just loud. wondering. It's late. I'm just asking my mom the same. Hey, my queen. What happened? My queen. I was in my room. I had a knock at the gate. So I went to check. I saw three guys heavily armed. Ah! They are smoking. Ah! They are here for a mission. Jesus. You don't what say. Mission? Mom, what are we doing? Wait, what are we hold on. Do do I'm, I'm, wait, 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 wait. Mommy, let me call. Let me let, let me call the police, right? You have to. Call. But we have vigilantes around here, don't we? Call police, wait, wait, wait. Please. Can you do that? First? Did you say they are armed? Please. Oh God. There might be criminals. Please don't go after them. He hello, hello. Please, we, we need we help. We should hurry up now. We have we have uh, armed men oh, like right outside. I think they're criminals. They're trying to gain entrance into our house. In fact, they're breaking in. Richard, please, we need help Richard, now, help now. Me. Please help us. We we're, we're so scared. Reduce your voice. Yes, now! Ah. Oh my god. Please sit. You're shouting. Mommy, they're coming. Mommy, they're coming inside already. My god. Yes. My queen, I want you both to look at this young man and tell me if you can recognize him. Face them. Uh -huh. Come, let's meet. Come on, sorry, sorry, sorry. My God, 
My king! Daddy! 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 My king! Daddy! My king! Daddy! My king! Daddy! What happened? My king! My king! Daddy! My king! Daddy! My king! Daddy! Oh my god! Oh my god! My king! 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 Mom? Wait, 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 wait a minute. I, I, I recognize him. Mom, that's him! Th that, that's the man that shot at my dad. Mommy, that's him! Look at his face. He's the one. He, he killed my father. Yes! Yes! Mom, that's the man. God have mercy. Oh my, God. my daughter is right. This idiot is the person that killed my husband right before me. Yes, he's the one. And your brother, Mr. Frank, sent them to come and eliminate everyone in the compound last night, which they did. What, Frank? Yes. Is Frank that bad? What? You mean I have been dining with a thief? I mean, a devil all this while. Oh hold on, hold on. Wait. Hold on. Frank is my brother. Wait, officer, please! Criminal! Are you trying to blackmail my brother or what? I'm not trying to blackmail anybody. Frank was the one that sent me. <sighs> Mom, I told you. Didn't I? I told you. This man killed my father and now he wants to kill all of us. Move. Move. Officer, move. Move. Officer, move. 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 I smell trouble. Yes. I think they've been caught. I have to get out of this city before it's too late. I need to get out now. Musa! Brother. Brother, you call me. My bag's in the car now. Yes, sir. Yes. Good. Um, Oga? You need to get out, all right? Yeah. You need to get out now. Now, as soon as you can. Oga, it be like say you they come out. Yes. Uh, Oga, what about my salary? Your salary? Yes, sir. Just sit down. I'll bring it for you. Yes. Sit. Mm. Sit. Let's say my guy don't come out here. Ah. And those people don't see you the gate. What am I doing here? Hey! Oga! Oga! It's you, Biako. As in evil, come and me at the end. We, the elders of reasonable kingdom, we're not here for merch ice play. We have come for your son. Bring him out. Bring out your son because we have serious call to settle with him. And you have only few minutes to do that. Yes. I will go to the chair. My fellow Ichies, if I tell you people this, you will not believe me. For the past weeks, I have not set my eyes on this my very son, you people. I don't know his whereabouts. 
what he has committed. I don't support him. So I don't know what he's swear about. So, what you are telling us now is that you don't know where your son is? Okay, what will be my gain if I hide him from you people? What? Tell me, what will be my gain? You know I don't support him. Period! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yes. You know you are my good friend. Yes, I do. I know you are a gentleman. But in this context, of will be listening. Mm. I'm listening good. Mm. Okay, you won't ask me. I'm here, Guana. I go there. Ah! Another man, another man claim that he cannot dig the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine. Yeah, it's complete lie. You have not seen your son for how many months? I cannot go back there to confess. They are going to kill me at the end of the day, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything I did. I'm sorry. I beg you, please don't kill me. No, no. I, I, I cannot go back there and confess. I, I, they, they are going to kill me. Please, forgive me. I'm sorry. I, I, I cannot. I cannot. Okay, I'll go and confess. Okay. I'll confess. Okay. I'll confess. I'll go there now. I confess. I promise. What type of a brother in love is this? I'm going back to the village from a to confess. This I killed him. So I caused all the problems. Living life is all he I'm wants. going back to confess. Mm -hmm. I'm going back to the village to confess. Yes. I will confess. I will tell them everything I did. I've done lots of damages. But I will confess. I, Frank, will confess. I'm going back to confess. My fellow Ada, since you people say you want to wait and see my son, this is chair. Please, can you see that? Mm. Mm -hmm. We are not sitting down. We are here, standing for some hours now, waiting for your son. And yet, he is not here. As I've told you people before, I've not seen him. I am of the opinion that you will go. Whenever he comes in, I will call you people so that you can... Mm -hmm. Elder. Are we leaving or we are still waiting for him? We are not going anywhere. <laughs> we must <laughs> see the end of it. I got freely see it, Tata. I got freely see it. Maka, it's a katan chon chon. It's a katan chon chon. 
Mm-hmm. We should go where? Bro, no, what is it? Why you men, old men disturbing my life? What is it? What have I done to you people? What have I done to you people? Why are you sending your phone after me? What do you want? What have I done to you? Because Why are you disturbing my life? I killed him. I killed him. Uh -huh. Yes. Keep and quiet. So Let me you have my shot. Keep quiet. I killed him. Frank. He was wicked. Frank. He was mean to me, Papa. I killed him. I sent men to kill him. Yes. Frank, I you? have confessed. Do you know the implication of what you've just done? I have confessed. I oh, my ass is again, ass and water. Can you let me be now? Can you let me be now? Hey. I have freaking confessed. Hold on, gentlemen. My fellow chest, hold on. Frank, you killed Igwe, the husband of your elder sister, making her a widow. Hell! Hell! You are cursed already. You killed our king, and you are bold to say it out. You are not my son. You are not the child I gave birth to. You are not mine. I wash my hand of this matter completely and listen very well. Whatever music they play for you, get prepared to dance to it. I have confessed. I will dance the dance. dance. I have confessed. You must dance. What else do you want for me? I have confessed! Ask is again, Asa! Oh, would you hear? What are you still doing here? Yes, ask is again, Okay, what are you old men still doing here? <laughs> if I go inside and come back to find you, all fools still here! I swear, I'll kill all of you. <laughs> I swear to God! <laughs> oh, but I'm not! Oh, Gugu is walking! Oh, Gugu is walking! Oh, Gugu is walking! Oh, Oh, you see your life? Isn't this your now? Isn't this your now? What is going on here? Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! What happened? He has confessed that he killed your father, our king. He killed our king. And Ogu dealt with him. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Oh, FK. I got my I got my It was Ogugu that killed him for the crime and the atrocity he committed in this land. Hey. Elders of the land arranged the youth to carry his body to the evil forest. Wow. That is where he belong. Ichi Apayos, hey. go ahead and arrange some boys to come and take him to the, to the forest. Listen, he's still oh, the forest. He's still the forest. He's still the forest. Hello? What? Frank is dead. <laughs> ah! Look at how this boy wasted his life. That's his business. Of course, what you sow, you reap. He killed my husband. Look at the way he just died. A young boy that I wanted to help by all means. That's his business. What can I say? If only your call for. Gentlemen and wonderful ladies. Especially to my gentlemen seated here. I want to welcome you specially for honoring my invitation. I mean, considering what happened between you men and I, you people came to open my eyes for me to see the evil my brother has been committing in, the, you know, in my late husband's company. I didn't see it because I never believed my brother was stooped so low, you know, as in 
to betray me. I didn't believe it. But I called you people, yet you came to answer my call. So allow me to say that I'm sorry for what transpired that time. I am deeply sorry. It's okay, ma'am. I see try there to speak freely from the core part of my heart, body, and soul that I bear no grudges against you. Your brother, Frank, should be blamed. Um, <clears throat> ma'am, my heart is clear and pure. I don't have any grudges against you. As uh, Mr. Johnson here rightly said, Frank cost the whole ten. I thank God he's, uh, he has been exposed in public. You know my daughter here warned me seriously about my brother. But I allowed the love I have for my blood to overshadow me, to close my eyes from seeing the truth. But I'm glad I finally saw the truth. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you. Thank you so much. So let me quickly use this opportunity to beg you men to please go back to the company and occupy your positions. Yes. I mean, the company can't even function properly without you men. Believe me. Ah, oh, thank you very much, ma'am. May God continue to bless you. Oh, same here. And I promise you that I will always deliver far better than what I have always done in the past. Thank you very much. You're welcome. One more thing. I want to tell you, wonderful men, that I... Uh, I will be joining the company uh -oh. on Monday, <laughs> as we resume on Monday, because today is Friday already. So I'll be joining as the managing director of my late husband's company. <laughs> and my wonderful barrister seated here, my precious daughter, will become the new CEO of my husband's company. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let me also use this opportunity to tell you that this fair lady, beautiful, seated close to my daughter, <laughs> is now the new company's chief accountant. <laughs> oh my God. That's great. That's really, really great. That's a very wonderful selection. But again, ma'am, I call it a formidable team. It simply means that the company will now be moving higher and higher. <laughs> you really did a wonderful selection. <laughs> um, it's a new development. But Ma, what of your son, the prince? Hmm. And I heard also that uh, Frank is owing everybody in the company four months' salary. It's all right. Trust me. When I tell you, once I resume on Monday as the managing director, the first thing I will do is to clear every debt that my brother was owing and to pay all my staff the salary. Yes. Thank you very much. Man. I will. I will. And as for my son, Prince, well, Prince is doing very well, but you know he's too young to join the company. That's very true. much young. He will be going back to boarding school next week. Hey, that's that's fine. Thank you very much, Mom. Hey. Thank you. Sweetheart, you're not saying anything. Our barrister. Um, mommy, there's nothing more to say, okay? You have said it all. <laughs> and you, our new accountant, say something. No matter how small. Mommy, I mean, I'm speechless. All right. I'm so happy, I'm grateful. Thank you so much. You have really done enough for me. And thank you for the position in the company. Mm -hmm. Mommy, I'm grateful, thank you. How many times do you say thank you? You have you. said it enough. <laughs> It's Thank all you. right, you're welcome. Thank so you. now that all of us are Thank in you. one spirit, 
I believe that we all will help to move my late husband's company forward. Mm -hmm. To God's glory and to the shame of the devil that used my, my younger brother Frank. Mm -hmm. May God forgive him, Thank honestly. So, let's cheers to, oh, to a new beginning. <laughs> sure. More success. Yeah. Hip, 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 Thank you Cheers. very much, Mom. Mm. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>